Alright everyone, this is Optinoob and I'm taking you through Resident Evil here, the HD remaster and we're doing every nook and cranny here and we're doing it on normal and this is going to be doing it as if it's your first playthrough so we're not using no, we're using no unlockables um, no infinite weapons, it's all done on normal every nook and cranny we'll get a lot of trophies, other trophies on the way and um, we'll be rescuing everybody and we're playing as Jill, we'll be rescuing everyone so we'll get quite a lot of trophies based around Basically, well, going for that, you'll complete a lot of actions on the way while going for that. I've experimented a lot with this, so what you're going to see here is perhaps the easiest this can be for you guys. I get this done in just, I mean, this video may be a bit longer for me stopping and um, stopping at times and explaining a few things to you. But I normally get this done about 3 hours 15 and that doesn't really leave me much time to spare to be honest. If I was probably pushing it, if I change a few things just from an experience perspective, I could probably just push three hours maybe, but it's very tight. So do not worry about speed running this. You will not be able to speed run your first playthrough trying to do every nook and cranny on normal. You will not do it guys, so don't, don't try. So all we're doing, every nook and cranny, normal is still rescuing everyone. That's all we're doing for now. I'll be adding other videos um, as we go on like real survival. We have to, um, about real survival guys, that's another difficulty mode we unlock and that's got a trophy related to it. You've got to play normal to unlock that. That's why we're not playing on very easy or easy because on them two you do not unlock it. We need to play normal first so we unlock that and we're basically just doing every nook and cranny on normal. Um, to get it out of the way because you can't do I don't really want to do much else it's your it, it's could be your this could be your first time playing this so I want to keep it nice and simple no rushing around you know no pressure just do it in your own time but you will need to follow my steps because a lot of the times I I know exactly where enemies spawn what causes enemies to despawn um what actions lead to another action example uh, you know well etc etc so just follow my leads and everything should run out should work exactly the same <laughs> almost there's a bit of luck involved in some points but if you should follow my lead guys um everything should work out exactly how it does for me so i'm just going into options i'm changing my brightness to 100 i always do that it just makes it a lot easier to you know see items that may be there in the dark some do sparkle and um, but not everyone does um so controller i will put in type b just because that's better for me you know so i can aim with r1 change target of l1 um otherwise the the default one uh, type a you have to aim and change aim uh, change target of the same l button so it just means you have to use sort of use two fingers at once close together and I just prefer type B you know I've got one side of the controller to aim the other side of the controller to change target and then I've got um, the X button to fire so I go for type B and just make sure I did save that yet bright um, type B under brightness guys and then we are going into it getting straight into it yeah so um, we won't be fighting every boss but we'll be getting most of them out the way. To be honest, I think... No, we fight more except for Plant 42, I think. Yeah. So, controls... Um, it's up to you, but I, I'd advise alternates. It's a lot, um, it's a lot be better. Now, this is a bit cryptic, these selections. Basically, the bottom one is very easy. The middle one is easy. And the top one is normal. So, that's one we're going on, normal. But it takes a lot of work. Not not really. Not if you're following this guide. Um, so, I'm going with Jill Valentine. I'm going to put this costume on. Yeah, costume don't really matter, guys. Pick whatever costume you like. Um, now, reference if you ever do get grabbed by an enemy. If you get grabbed by an enemy and you um, you don't have a defense item to use and it's basically grabbing you and biting you, damaging you, and just rotate the left analog stick and press all, keep pressing all four um, of the main buttons on the front of the controller. So just keep rotating the left analog and press all four buttons. Just keep doing that and that gets them off you. So just rotate left analog stick and keep pressing the buttons. That should get them off you. The quicker you do it, um, the less damage you should take. Right. Alright, so we're in the dining room. And here we are. <coughs> Battery. Yeah, so head to the end of the dining room. 
Um, you find Barry you... again, examining some blood, and then head through this door here. Yeah, we mainly use the shotgun later on when we unlock it. Um, yeah, so that's <laughs> mainly what we use. And um, yeah, come down here, you see a zombie. This scene, this scene really scared me when I first played this back when the original was released. And come through back through here into the dining room. You see Barry again. Now we, then we're just going to head back to the main hall. Yeah, we used a handgun a little bit at the start. Um, mainly we used a shotgun. Um, we used a magnum a bit. We used a grenade launcher a bit. Um, we used a self-defense gun for something. Yeah, I've got I've got a use of basically everything here. We use every um, enemies enemies always or almost always have a certain ammo type they're weak to. So I try to um, exploit that. So um, yeah, we'll make, be making everything as easy as we can. So after that scene, just head up these steps till you get to this camera angle, and then head back down to Barry, and another train uh, scene should start. And you'll get a lock pick. To start that scene, uh, basically you just have to change a few camera angles and come back to him. It's quicker to just run up the steps and then back down. So once you've got a lock pick, just head back up the steps. All the way to the top, uh, second floor. Yeah, this is the second floor. The, well, ground floor. You know, we call it ground floor in England. But the floor at the bottom, they call it the first floor here. This game. So we're on the second floor now. You just come into here and grab this dagger from this little shelf. There you go, grab that dagger, you get an emergency evade file. You may want to read these files, guys, in your own time. Because <coughs> you won't get... Sorry <laughs> sorry about that, guys, excuse me. You may want to read the files in your own time. They will give you a bit of a heads up about some of the gaming mechanics and that. And then head back down and then into the dining room again. The defense items, basically you'll use them, as long as you've got one equipped... Um, you'll use them automatically if you're grabbed from the front. If you're grabbed from behind, you will not use them. So you want to try not to get grabbed from behind if you can help it. Well, you want to try not to get grabbed at all. But sometimes I will tell you to get grabbed. I know it sounds a bit weird, but um, I don't. I'm not going to get you to do any crazy dodging. Like I'm sure a lot of the guides try and get you to dodge, but I know a lot of people, beginners, struggle a bit for dodging at first. So no dodging, guys. Don't worry about dodging. So back in here. Um, come over to Kenneth now that zombie's not here. Examine him, find a tape. Keep pressing X around him. You'll get a tape. There you go. And then head through this door. That zombie that's here originally, he is still in that hallway, but he's at the back. But we don't need to pass him right now, so you can just leave him there out of the way. He's not a danger. Um, so we're in here in the birdcage room. Uh, there's a magazine by the birdcage. There we go. Take the handgun mag. Over here, grab the two green herbs. We take the green herb, yep, yeah. and we take the second one. I will, I sure will. Yeah, take the second one. That's two green herbs. Everything in here, and then up the steps, and then into the next door. Yeah, for um, every nook and cranny, guys. What you really need, you don't have to open every door. I know some people think you do, but you don't. You just have to make sure every room has been opened. Uh, so every room has been entered, and you've cleared out every room. So every room should be green. Um, so in here, just grab this green herb next to this zombie. Don't, that zombie will get up later, but you can't damage him right now, so just leave him. Once you've got that green herb, combine all three of these. Now from here, just walk around this corner. Just walk around here. Keep Hug this wall where I am. Hug this corner. Come past. And that zombie should miss you. Come down here, grab his um, golden arrow from his statue. There we go. You go file, head to the opposite wall, this mirror, grab this magazine. That, near that mirror, and there's a zombie there. You see him. Yeah, just run into him. You're going to use a dagger. And then run past him when you get a window. And then head to that door. You can dodge him, and like I say, but it can be a bit difficult too if you're a beginner. You can shoot him, but the thing with shooting him is it can be tight so that other zombies on your tail. So it's best you should run into him, use a defense item, it'll open the window and then you can get by safe. Now in here, just lure that zombie, make him come over to you, to this side. Once he starts coming down that side, uh, quickly run to the opposite end. You want to head around to that statue, you may have just seen it. You can head around to it and just push it. Yeah, push the statue. You need to lure that zombie away, otherwise um, he'd probably grab you right now. You have to lure him away from the statue. Um, so push it to this little opening in the rail. 
railing and then push it off and it will break when it lands and then you can get that blue diamond from its hand later on. We don't need it right now so um, but it's there ready for later. And come through back through this door into the main hall again, second floor of the main hall. Uh, back down to the centre of the steps and uh, enter the store here. I never, when I first played this, um, the original, I never realised that was a door. I honestly, it took me ages to realise. I think I got stuck for a long time before I finally clicked. So come down here, stay, stay in these steps here. I am and kill this zombie. Zombies will not attack you on steps, by the way. Well, they won't lunge anyway. They'll try and spit acid. I'll just try and show you like that. They'll spit acid like that if you're on steps. And it's very easy to dodge. Oh, well he's dead. We just got our trophy. You know when he's dead, because you'll get that trophy. Now come down here, but be careful because there's a zombie here. If he if he's alerted to you, he might be standing right right where the camera changes the angle. Oh, we need to reload. Just don't let him get too close, guys. Keep him at a distance. Just keep shooting him. You got plenty of ammo. Right, you know when he's dead because when you aim, you won't aim onto him. So, just aim again if you want to make sure he's dead. Come over here, grab a shotgun, ammo. That's how you tell if enemies are dead, by the way. You basically just aim your weapon. If you don't aim onto them, then they're dead. Come over to this sort of tomb. Uh, open your inventory. Examine the golden arrow. Yeah, examine that. You'll get the arrowhead from it. And then you want to use the arrowhead on it. If you can't use it, it's because you're not quite in the right place. You sort of need to be in the middle there. And then once you've used it, and um, this doorway, to, well, well, the tomb will reveal a stairway leading down to this um, secret chamber. Where there'll be a little, I wouldn't really say a boss, but it's a tough battle here later. Well, it's not tough. I've made it easy. I've made it easy for you guys. But it's supposed to be tough. Uh, so you're grabbing that book of curses from this little altar here. Once you grab it, you want to examine the back to find a key. It's just mansion key, but it's actually the sword key. If you look on the back of it, you'll see a little sword. And that will open any doors that have like a sword motive on them or emblem, whatever you want to call it. you got a fire. So we've got our key now. Uh, now you want to head back and just exit this room now. Yeah, we kill these zombies because they don't, they don't um, get come back to life later. They're, as soon as you leave that room with them dead, they disappear. A lot of the zombies in this game, they will sort of reanimate into a more deadlier version of a zombie later. But them two don't, they disappear. That's why we've killed them. Alright, so we've got the key. Once you're back out here in the main hall, come up here and come back into these double doors. Back onto that sort of balcony-like area above the dining room. And they're going to come in here, you're just going to, you're going to unlock the far door and then enter it. And un unlock it, there we go, and enter. Yeah, then, there's not room names for the rooms like on the Resident Evil 2 remake. So I'm just making up my own names. Yeah, come through this door, you use the lockpick to unlock it. The safe rooms have names, so when you're safe, it'll tell you what room you're saved in. But other than that, there's no way to tell. Um, right, you can use these green herbs. You get two uses from them, two or three uses, can't remember which it which it is. But if you do need to refill your health later, if you come over to them, as long as there's a use left in them, it'll refill your health to full. We just come through here so we can lock this door, then we're gonna head through. And just about healing items, guys. Any healing items I collect, if you want to use them, just use them. Don't worry, I'm gonna be hoarding tons of healing items. There's literally loads of healing items in this game on normal. And the route I'm taking you along, you shouldn't get damage much at all it'll be very easy so any healing items guys just use them if you need to now unlock this door but do not enter it do not enter that door just unlock it because you may get a cutscene with Barry when you come back out where he gives you acid rounds and you do not want that cutscene yet once you unlock that door come back through here and enter this door here now once you come in here if you go back out um, there'll be cutscene with Barry and he'll give you acid rounds we do not want that cutscene guys we do not want that acid round cutscene with Barry because if you get that now he, um, we will not get cutscene later with him where he allows you to get the, uh, the shotgun 
earlier. So do not trigger the cutscene with Barry. If you're doing what I'm doing, you'll be fine anyway. But just to let you know, if you accidentally trigger that cutscene with Barry, where he gives you acid rounds, you're going to have to restart. <laughs> yeah, sorry, but you should be doing what I'm telling you. Um, Alright, so up into this dresser, guys, you just push it over to the statue, then grab that flashing item from its vase. That is a map, that's a map for the first floor. That's it, we've grabbed it. Woman drawing water. Okay, jump down afterwards, um, come through here. Round here, and uh, grab his dagger. That's it. Now, when we head back, the uh, zombie's going to come in. Now, just stand, your gr just stay still, guys. Keep shooting him. If you stun him or knock him down, run past. Or if he reaches you before and you have to use your defense item, once you've used it, run past. Just don't turn your back in case he grabs you from behind. So just shoot him straight away. If you're lucky, you will stun him. If not, you'll just have to use his defense item. And you'll get past him that way. And once you're out here, that's it, come through that door. Yeah, so just got a map in that room, guys, and that dagger. Nothing you can do about a zombie. If you know how to dodge, you can dodge it, but um, I'm not getting you guys to dodge, so that's the way you want to get past him. All right, come to this cabinet, push it. Push it, and it'll reveal a dagger. There it is. Grab that dagger. And come and then come to this far small cabinet and then push that back the way you came to reveal a handgun magazine. If you push it um the way you came, uh, the way you're facing, um I don't think you can actually reach a magazine, you have to push it the way you came. That's it. Come to the store, that's all the items in that little hallway we've just got. Now these first two doors we pass here, we're not entering them just yet, we'll come back later. But uh just come around here for now. Don't worry guys, um there is a plan to all of this. Yeah, come in this door. Yeah, you, you, you will find, if if only if you've um, watched other guides, you'll find I'm doing quite a lot of things different, guys. But I've tested everything. So just just trust me, guys. <laughs> just trust me. I know what I'm doing. I think. <laughs> Alright, so we're in here. Grab this dagger from this table. And the ink ribbon from here. And you should have one more slot for the shotgun. Yep, just as I planned. There we go. One more slot for the shotgun. Right, once you've got a shotgun, make sure you've got everything in this room. Just check your map. It should be flashing green. There we go. It is. And then exit. It's going to be a little cutscene now where the ceiling's going to come down on you. Straight after. Um, interact with the door again. And then interact with the other door. And then head to the centre and then be cutscene with Barry. Uh, now, now, this is a cutscene we wanted. It lets you get a shotgun early. Wesker, if you have the cutscene with Barry where he gives you the acid rounds Jill, before this cutscene, then this cutscene will not happen and you will not Stay be able back. to get a shotgun early. So yeah, that's the reasoning for that, guys. Right, so Barry's just res rescued us. What a great guy. You'll get a trophy for it, reminding you how great of a guy he is. Oh, there we go. Yeah, reminding you that he's such a great guy, that Barry. Alright, so you come through that double door now. And head through this door just in front of you. Don't don't go any further in there, guys, because there's a zombie around the corner. Which we only have to face once we play our cards right. Now... Make sure you got your shotgun equipped. Now, first shot of this, guys, is a is a critical headshot. The first shot with this is a critical headshot. As long as you're close and you're aiming up, aiming upwards. With the shotgun, you need to aim up for a critical, by the way. So just make sure you're aiming up. And the zombies want to be about six foot away, within six foot. Don't let them get too close, because then they might grab you before you before you react. So about six foot away and aim up. Just run over here to see this zombie. Aim up. Bam! He's dead. And his head has gone with him. That's it. Once you've done that, switch your handgun. Reload it, if you haven't already. Then head up to his depths. Uh, just pop your head up, up here, then head back down. And one or both of them will be alerted to you. Once they come down the stairs, start shooting them. I like shooting them on the stairs, like bottlenecks them. And... 
they don't lunge for you on the steps as i've already told you they do not lunge for you on the steps they just do that stupid acid attack which is really hard really easy to dodge right let's get his attention we're going to kill him the same way most of the time he already know where you are for some reason he just i don't know he's daydreaming wake up zombie oh there we go i knew that to get your attention right wait till you come to the steps the steps and uh, start shooting him. Oh, straight into his mate's ass. Alright, once you've got them guys, they're both dead. Make sure they're dead. Just aim. Make sure you're not aiming onto nothing. Yes. There you go. He got back up. Thought he was dead. I wasn't aiming on him, was I? I thought he was dead. Oh shit, I need to reload. Fuck. Yeah, just make sure he is dead. I'm not quite sure what happened then. I should have locked onto him, but I didn't. Maybe it's because his head was inside the floor <laughs> on that uh, on the step. I don't know. But he's dead now because blood was coming from him. So yeah, when they when all three of them are dead, guys, come into the item box room. All right, let's reload that uh, handgun. Now open your item box. Uh, Yeah, open the item box. Now I'm gonna keep this I'm gonna try and keep my inventory nice and organized for you guys. So when I'm going through it, it's easy for you to, for you to see exactly what I've got. Alright, so I'm gonna keep key items at the top, um, then weapons, and then healing items beneath. So healing items down here. Alright, once you've done that, you wanna uh, grab this kerosene, so you put a thing away, apart from your ink ribbons. Grab that fuel canteen off the floor. Uh, grab this letter down here. Uh, interrupt this tank, this uh, sort of petrol tank to refill your fuel canteen. You can only get two at a time, by the way, two maximum at a time in your fuel canteen. And then save your game. I can save my progress? Oh, no way. Yeah, save your progress. East Ring Storeroom. See, the safe rooms have names, guys, but the other rooms, no, not so much. So once you've saved your game, back to the item box. Now, put the ink ribbons away, keep the fuel canteen, and you want to take a shotgun out. So fuel canteen and a fully loaded shotgun. Six ammo should be inside. All right. Equip your shotgun. Them enemies were killed that are still alive. Uh, not still alive, sorry. That are just laying there, the bodies. And it, basically any zombies that you don't headshot, uh, head, well, decapitate. Later on, they will, well, they may turn into crimson heads. Not all zombies do it, but these early, a lot of these early zombies, they will, come, they will turn into stronger zombies later on if you take too long or if you get so far in the story. So once you come in here, aim up, get ready to blow his head off. He's dead, I'm aiming, well, I bloody hope he's dead, I'm aiming. Oh yeah, blood's coming from him. So, there's a few ways to confirm they're dead. Either there'll be a, a pool of blood coming from them, or their head will blow up. Or you will not be, or you will not aim. Yeah, or you will not aim for them. See, I'm not aiming, well, he's got no head, he's definitely dead. So once you kill them two, uh, grab his wooden board off that desk near the lamp and then come in this door at the back in the corner. Come through here, grab his magazine. Grab the lighter here. Oh, sorry, dog, whis dog whistle. <laughs> yeah, sorry, dog whistle, guys. Lighter, not yet. So dog whistle. Come down here. Grab this lighter, that's the lighter, and then grab this um, book, this green book here. So you've got the lighter now, guys. You've got everything in this room, yeah. Come through this door. Now, any of the zombies that are still alive in this corridor, you want to burn them now. So just stand above the torso and use your fuel canteen. As long as you've got a lighter with you at the same time and you've got fuel in your canteen, you'll burn the enemy you're standing above. So yeah, this guy's gone, so I decapitated him. But if he's not gone, if you didn't decapitate him, you have to burn him as well. 
come through here once you've done that. And we're going to head to the end of this upper hallway, right to the end. And go through this door here. Right, grab that green herb. And then head over to the fireplace. And at the fireplace, you want to use the wooden mount. Use that. And then use your lighter on the fireplace. There we go. Once you've done that, you'll get a map. Just say yes to take it. There we go. Make sure that room's green. Yeah, it's green. And then exit the room. Now, you want to make sure you've got two empty inventory spaces. So make sure you've got two empty. There we go. And make sure you've got green herb in one of the um, taken spaces. So we've got two free and then we've got a green herb as well. It's not because we need to use that, it's because we need to combine some more herbs with it later that we're going to collect. It was safe taking up space. Don't worry, these guys weren't turning stronger zombies just yet. Now you want to come through this door. You can only go through this door twice, by the way, before it breaks. It does get fixed later, but the first part of the mansion, you can only go through it twice. So make sure you're doing exactly the way I am doing this. Make sure you have two free slots now. If you've had to go through that door again because you've got something, you're going to have to just reload that last save, guys. So you're coming back through here now. And now we're going to enter these two doors we didn't enter before. So we're going to this one first. Use a lock pick. Now the first time you enter this, the dogs do not attack. You see the dogs went there. There they are, just outside the fence. They will not attack, but when if you have to come in again later, they will. That's why we need to come in and take everything first time. So first, um, use a fuel canteen to refill your um, fuel. And grab the red herb. And combine that with that um, single green herb you have. And then grab the other two green herbs. Make sure you grab the herbs in there, guys, before you grab a chemical. Very important. If you grab a chemical first, then you're not going to have space to combine these. So you yeah, make sure you grab the herbs first. When you have all the herbs, just make sure they're combined to um, save some space, there we go. And then grab this chemical last. And that's everything in here, that's everything in here. I don't need to keep checking the map, guys. Yeah, sorry, I don't, need I don't need to keep checking the map, guys. I know when I've got everything in each room, I've done this enough times now while optimizing this. So once you exit that door, come into this one here, into the bathroom. And you need to drain the bath, you'll drain the bath, um, you'll get the, and then grab a dagger from the bath and then quickly exit. So drain the bath. Say hello to your friend that jumped out to greet you. Uh, grab the dagger from the bath and then exit. We're heading back to the um, item room now. Well, we're heading into a stairwell that connects to the item room and we're going to kill it, kill what zombies we can first in there. We filled up fuel canteen, we should have two. So just going to kill these two zombies near now, guys. Uh, kill him. Yep, there we go. And let's kill this one. Make sure he's definitely dead. They, they are already dead, guys. I know I'm, I keep saying kill them. <laughs> I've already said that. But any zombies that you've killed um, without without a decapitation, or you can destroy their legs, will cause them to despawn as well. If you decapitate them or destroy their legs, they will despawn when you exit the room. But if you don't, they will stay there on the floor and um, they will um, reanimate later into a stronger zombie. So once in here, just refill your fuel canteen. There we go. So you should have two. Yeah, we have. And open the box. Uh, put your put the um, chemical juice on plants away. Put the herbs away. We don't need the herbs right now. 
Yeah, just put them away, guys. And take the handgun and the handgun magazine. Yep, you want them. So you want the handgun, guys, and you want a handgun magazine. Make sure you've got them. Oh, yeah, I've got two there. Yeah, so make sure you've got a handgun and a handgun magazine. Very important. Alright, so that's what we've got, guys. Fuel canteen. You want to reload the shotgun. Make sure you've got the ammo. Almost, almost forgot. There's a lot to remember here, guys. So sorry, you want the shotgun, you want the shotgun, fuel canteen, shotgun, um, lighter, dog whistle, handgun, handgun ammo, and the shotgun shells. That's all you want. Excellent room once done. Make a save if you wanted to. I'm not making a save right now, but if you want to, guys, if you're worried, make a save. In fact, just make a save, just in case. Alright, so now we're heading back out to the main hall. But we're going to take this top route. Oh, fucking camera angles. Fucking hate them. If you keep running when the camera angle changes, if you, if you don't take your hand, you'll keep heading in that same direction. But it just, when the camera angle changes, it does trip you up when you, you're just naturally trying to adjust to it. And you get all, you get all muddled up like running around in a circle. <laughs> so there's the acid rounds that I said well, about Barry. I like them. Yeah, you want to get them, you want to get that scene after the shotgun scene. If you get that scene first, then that shotgun scene doesn't happen. And you wouldn't, we wouldn't have the shotgun by now. So yeah, that's the way you want to do that. So just come in this door now. We're going to head to the, just, we're not going to enter the other door, but we're going to head, head to it. Right, so once you get to this corner, um, make sure you've got shotgun equipped, it's loaded, and use your dog whistle. Now, just make sure you're aiming down here, so two dogs are going to appear. There we go. Uh, if you grab shiver, take the left analog stick and keep pressing the buttons. Shoot him again, another one's going to come. And then kill him as well. Come on, come a bit closer, a little bit closer. That's it. Should They should only take two shots each, guys. Um, reload your shotgun afterwards. Use the green, use these plants to heal your health. There we are, I've got full health now. Grab this dog collar afterwards that the first dog dropped. Them dogs are a pain in the ass, guys, but that's not really any easier way to do them. You can use a handgun, but it's using the shotgun, you'll kill them quicker. You'll take less damage. So, enter the store. It'll ask if you want to discard the dog whistle when you try and leave. Say yes. Whenever you get asked to discard an item, guys, say yes. Right, once you're in here, um, equip your handgun. Kill this zomb there's a zombie straight over there. There he is. Oh, damn. Haha. <laughs> yeah, it's two zombies we're trying to kill, guys. And is this one dead? No, he's still alive, look. He's didn't I just aim on him? Right, anyway, once you've knocked them both down and they're dead, um, any, that, any that you haven't decapitated, you're going to have to burn them. So I'm just going to burn them. Oh, I got a trophy there from killing, from burning. There's a trophy from burning two enemies at once. And I just got lucky there that them two fell down together. All right, so you've burned them. Even if, even if you don't decapitate that first one, and they both fall down, not close. You've got two, you got two fuel in your canteen, so you can you can burn them both. So we've killed them to the um, the handgun guys. Then back in here, well not back in here. I mean into here into another item room. 
Right, come over to the chest. And we don't need a lighter for now. We don't need a fuel canteen anymore. Let's get rid of that shit. Uh, put the handgun away. We don't need that for now. Put that away. Put the acid rounds away. We don't need them either. And that's all we need for now. The shotgun and the dog collar. That's all we need for now, guys. You want to take the ink ribbon out just so you can save your game. Yeah, come over to a typewriter, save your progress. Always save on a different slot, guys, in case you need to reload quite a uh, save further back for any just in case you make any mistakes anywhere or you're not happy with how you've done. You've I want more if you take a lot of damage, guys. There's so many healing items we find. Alright, put the ink ribbon away afterwards. There we go. And equip that shotgun and we're good to go. Good to go, guys. Now back up the steps. And into the store here. Yes, and you unlocked it. Now, it's going to be a stronger zombie soon. But if we're quick, we can kill it guys without any problems. So just come down here. Just walk slowly. That zombie I'm standing on is going to animate. It's going to stand up in a minute, guys. We're just going to... We're going to quickly aim and then aim upon it to his head and just shoot him until he dies. It'll take one or two shots. Shouldn't take any more. So just walk forward until it stops, until he stands up. Aim. Aim up. Shoot. Shoot again. He's dead. There he is. He's dead. You want to wait. Wait until he's sort of recovered from an attack. When you attack him... As you saw, he gets stunned for a few seconds. Just wait for him to recover before you shoot him again. Come over to here. Take the key out. Mansion key, yet? Yeah. yeah, I don't know what it is for enemies, and it they seem to. I don't know. They, if you wait for him to recover, they take a little bit more damage. And if you if you shoot them while they're in an animation, they don't take so much damage. Um, all right. So you want to examine the dog collar. Examine the front of it, you'll find a switch, say yes, and you'll find this coin inside, and then turn it around to the back, and then press X to um, find the armor, and it'll turn into a sort of fake key. Now use the key on this sort of plate in the middle where you took the other key from, and uh, it'll fill the gap, and you've got the real key now. We fooled them, <laughs> we fooled them. Now, don't run here too quick or you'll run straight into that shield with spikes. And through this door. And then into the store opposite. That zombie we killed in there, that stronger one. And when he first stands up, he can get away from it without any damage. But he can pose a bit of a problem later on. So... Um, killing him now, it just provides a good opportunity um, to kill him. Because you're right next to him, he stands up, and it gives you a good fucking camera angles. Come on. Just head into the end of this room, guys. Yeah, just killing him when he first animates, it just gives you a good opportunity to actually kill him there. Then rather than trying to kill him later or dodge him, because he does do quite a lot of damage. If he does hit you. So I'm through here. And then back in into the dining room. Yeah, same strong as zombies. Once you kill them, that's it. They're gone. They don't reanimate again. Not like normal ones do. Right, once you're in here, um, head to the back side, the back of the dining table and grab this blue diamond. Now, that's from that statue that you pushed earlier, if you remember. There we go, blue gemstone. And then into the main hall, guys. Yeah, leave that ink ribbon for now. We do not need it. Only collect what I'm uh, telling you to get, guys. Uh, there is a reason to all this madness. Right. Up steps afterwards. We've got the armor key now. Probably notice we did get the armor key. So it can open... That armor key opens about seven, six or seven doors. And this is one of them. So you want to come to this far door here in the corner on the second floor. Now we're going to get the grenade launcher here.
Yeah, we don't actually... We've got two bullets left in the shotgun. We don't actually use this one no more. We get a stronger shotgun a bit later. Um, there's a dagger here on this bench. So you probably didn't see. Just on this bench next to me, there's a dagger. And there's a grenade launcher. Grab that grenade launcher. Equip it. Make sure you equip it straight away. Because this little dude, this dude's pretending to be dead. He's going to come after you soon. So make sure grenade launcher is equipped. Come down here. Now when you get near the green two herbs, this little scene will happen. As soon as you get control, pick a green herb up. So as soon as you get control, grab a green herb. There we go. And then aim and fire at him. Aim and fire at him as soon as you recover. Boom. Grab the other one quickly. And then run to the and then exit the room, run to the end. He'll get up. Sometimes you'll kill him with that one shot. You will always knock him down. So you always get a good wind window to escape. But sometimes you'll kill him, sometimes you won't. But either way, it doesn't matter. We're escaping straight after, and he doesn't come after you anymore. That's it, guys. You want the dagger, the grenade launcher, them two green herbs. Knock him down, and get the fuck out of there. <laughs> get the fuck out of there. So there, there we go. We've done all in rooms so far, guys. That's how your map should look. Um, so there's two red rooms there at the moment. Don't worry. Um, that dining room, there's still a few things you need to collect, but it'll be later. And that other red room, that's because Barry's put some new items in there for you. Yeah, he's a great guy. Alright, so back into here, in this um, western hallway. Not western, this is the eastern hallway, what am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, come to this door here. Do not go in that other door we passed, just come straight into this one. And there's a little puzzle here, but I'm going to make this really easy for you. Really easy for you. Like, push this dude first. The dude with a big hull, is it a bird? And then push a the guy with an axe. No, he's got a bird. <laughs> then push this guy here with nothing. So, so it's the far right, close left, close right. And that's it. And I press the switch in the middle. Once all four knights have moved to the wall. And that will release the little... Release the bars, I guess. Release the little bars. I see you'll find the jewellery box. My little necklace inside for you. Now, um, go into your inventory, examine this. And press X on that heart there. Press X on the heart, the half heart. That's it. You've pressed that switch. Yeah, I've pressed it twice. And then press the sw half heart on the back as well. You need to press both of the heart pieces to open the box. The other switches do not open it. That's a go, and you'll find the death mask inside. Once you've done that, come through here. And through this door. And you're going to find somebody in trouble. Oh, Richard! Yeah. Richard. Who the fuck is Richard? But yeah, we're going to help Richard now. So we need to be quick. You are, you are under a time, invisible time limit, guys, that you can't see. We need to get a serum back. I'm, I'm not entirely sure the time limit. I've not actually tried to work it out myself. But once you've done that, um, just come straight over here. You want to come back in. Well, you want to come back into the dog terrace. Because uh, if you go the other way, there is a zombie trying to break through. But we come this way so we can actually kill him. It doesn't matter if you kill him here. Because you're not becoming, we will not be coming in this room again. So it doesn't matter if he turns into a stronger zombie. So come to this far corner. Then aim. And fire. That should hit him. Yep, yeah, he's dead. If he's not, just finish him off. But he is dead. And then enter this. Uh, come through this door. If you don't kill him there, he'll try and come through that door. Which he'll try and come through here into this room. And then you have a bit of trouble. But kill him there. We don't have to worry about burning him. Because we're not going back in that room later. So don't need to worry about him turning into a stronger zombie. So come down here, guys. And back to the item room. Yep, 
Yeah, so grab the serum from the shelf. I always forget this when I fucking come in. I come in and always forget our serum. serum. Alright, so you're going to put the green herbs away. I'm just going to make a complete herb there. I'm a sucker. I can't help it, guys. <laughs> I have to make a complete herb. Alright. So let's just put this shit away. We want to keep the serum on us, guys. And then we want the handgun as well. Let's get rid of the mask. That's the key items. I'm putting that at the top. Uh, diamond. Don't want that. We don't want the shotgun no more. Well, not for now, anyway. Shotgun could go there. Grenade launcher there. We want serum. We want the key. And we want the handgun, guys. And the lighter. Almost forgot. And we want the lighter. Very important. Very important, guys. You want the lighter. And one more thing. You want to save here. Make a save, guys. Make a save. Remember, don't take too long. We are on a little time limit here. If you don't get back to Richard in time, he would die. Um, so just make a save on a new on a new um, slot. See medical storage room again. That's it. Then put that ink ribbon away. That's it. Lob that away quickly. Right, we're good to go, guys. We've got the mansion, the armor key, serum, handgun, and the handgun ammo, and we've got a lighter. Shit, I thought I didn't have it equipped. Alright, now we're going to head back up to Richard to save his little life. But we're going to take this way this time. So we're going to come down here. Through here. Don't enter any other doors down here for now. Just enter the doors that I'm doing. Once you get them through here, grab this little battery off here. Battery pack. That's actually another defense item, by the way, guys. Jill's got two defense items. She's got the dagger. And then um, that battery pack is basically like a little... Um, <coughs> excuse me, guys. It's basically like a little taser. You'll taser the um, enemies. And the taser, what it does, it knocks them down. It stuns them for about 10 seconds, I guess. Because it's about 10 seconds. So back in the dining room, back into the main hall. And then up to Richard. Give him that serum. Almost there. I think I think it's about five minutes you get. Three three to five minutes. I'm not sure on exactly how much time you get. But as long as you sort of head straight there and then back, you've you've near enough got enough you've got enough time. As long as you sort of head straight there and back, you've got enough time to sort of save and mess around with your item box for a minute or so. There we go, he's alive. Give him a shot. Now grab these green herbs. Delaying the inevitable. <laughs> damn right, damn right. Yeah, grab these green herbs, guys. And then come through here. Now, it's going to be a zombie here, so make sure you're ready if you hang on. Yeah, make sure you're ready. Come here and then start shooting it. If he gets too close, just go on these steps. And then all he'll be able to do is that stupid acid attack. I don't know, but I got him. He will disappear later. Um, but you may just have to run straight past him when he is a stronger zombie. But the door is literally right in front of you. So it's not a problem, guys. Very easy to dodge. Right. Grab his handgun magazine from the corner of the table. Then you should light it on this lamp around the back. Yeah, you should light it here. It's very annoying that you have to bring your lighter with you just to light that fucking... Them candles. Grab the Mahanga magazine from his cabinet as well. And now push his cabinet out of the way. Now once you go in here and the camera changes, a zombie's going to attack you. So what I like to do, I like to use a D-pad here. Make sure your back's facing it then just hold back. And then quickly run out. I like to do that. Sometimes when I run in, I run straight into him. I get a bit confused with the camera angle. And sometimes I run straight into him when I'm not meaning to. But I always find if I do it that way, 
I always manage to run out in time. Yeah, grab the musical note, uh, musical score, sorry, from this cabinet inside. Now, just wait till he moves away from the door. Yeah, no need to waste ammo on him, guys. Just bait him around. That's it, and then head through the door and safe. This zombie we just killed out here. If you didn't knock him down, he would have burst through there, and you'd have had two zombies to deal with in that room. Especially, just, it's best to have one here and one in there. Okay, so we've done in here for now, guys. We've almost done in this part of the mansion for now. You do have to come back here later to do a few things. But we've almost done for now. We're just heading back to that safe room we were just at. And uh, then we're heading down here, kill a snake, and then a few other things and we'll be gone. So, out here, we're heading back down to that dining room now. You'll have to combine these, by the way. You'll need the space. You'll have to combine them two herbs. You come down here, come into this room. The dining room. Now, we're going to collect one item from here now. Not the ink ribbon yet, but we're going to grab this, um, like, sort of shield plaque from the wall. The emblem. Emblem, emblem, emblem. We're going to grab that emblem. Right, we're just going to take the damage from the zombie. Well, not the damage, we're going to use a defense item on him. Don't bother wasting any ammo, just run into him. Use a defense item and then run past. You'll use them automatically, then run past. There we go. Use the mansion key. If you know how to dodge, you can try and dodge him if you want. But for you beginners, just run into him. Use the defense items. It's the easy, easiest way. Come over to here, push this bookcase, the, well, not bookcase, this shelving unit out of the way. And, uh,. Grab the other musical score from the shelf. Now combine them. That's it. Combine them to get, and then head over to the piano and use the sheet music that you created when you combine both the musical notes. That's it. Jill can play, play the piano. Come over to here, grab the emblem, the gold emblem. Go the gold emblem, blim, blim, blim. Grab the file just next to it, Trevor's diary, and then use the old shitty wooden one in its place. So use that old crappy one in its place. There we go. So we took the gold one and we put the other emblem in its place. Emblem, emblem. And then head back into the hallway. Now that zombie is facing away from you. So what you need to do, we you run past him. But stick to this wall. Just run past him like this, and he'll always do. He'll always do that. And then come into the store. He'll always do that. Just run past him on the right. Make sure he's sort of running into the wall, and he will always turn, lunge, and miss you. And you want to come into the store once done. Yeah, he'll always lunge and miss you. If he does get you, you're only going to use defense item, so don't worry about it anyway. But just run against the wall. You'll, he'll always miss you. That's what happens when zombies not facing you. And um, you can manage to do that. Um, so grab the handgun magazine off the corner of the bed there. Come over to here. Grab this file from off the floor. Keep his diary off the floor beneath his desk. Now, go into your defensive items and equip the stun gun. Yes, make sure that defensive item is equipped. And then head over here. Uh, the zombie's going to burst out. Run into him. Use your stun gun. That's going to knock him down. Give you about... Five to ten second window. That's it. Then grab this other one from where he was, and then you're going to use a dagger. Make sure you got dagger equipped now, and run into this dude. Oh, <laughs> missed him. And then get out of there. Don't worry, they're not going to come through. Just get out of that room and come down here and uh, head in this door here. Yeah, that room, it, it's you're too close together, so you've not really got much space to kill him with a handgun. So especially as you defense sight, run into each of them, 
and let let um, let Jill use the defence item on them. I like to use a stun gun on the first one because that knocks him down for five to ten seconds, gives you a chance to get by and get by the other one. So come in here now, use um, grab this stun gun, uh, battery pack, sorry, uh, grab a broken shotgun, and then grab the ink ribbon from over here. There's a fuel can, you can see a petrol tank there, but we don't need it. That's it, that's everything from this room, guys. Yeah, that broken shotgun, that's the other way how you get, that's how you get a shotgun if Barry doesn't save you. So as you can imagine, it's a bit of a pain trying to get a shotgun um, without Barry's help. Now into the item room, guys. Right. Item box time. Right. Let's get everything away. Um, broken shotgun. Let's get rid of them ink ribbons. You can make a save now, guys, if you want. I'm not going to save. We're going to be saving in about five minutes anyway. Um, but it's up to you if you want to save now or not. Um, I'm just going to... Oh, fuck. I just wanted to make a full healing item. You don't need a handgun no more, guys. Get rid of that shit. You don't need the lighter no more either. Get rid of that. You still need the key. You still need the key. You still need the gold emblem. You need the chemical on plants. And you need the blue gemstone. Let's just... Um, Combine that green herb with the other one that's not quite complete. There we go. I have to, <laughs> I have to have max um, three herbs mixed. I have to. My life feels complete when I do that. All right, all right, guys. So we're all ready. I've um, sorted my inventory out. I've put everything away. There we go. All you want now, guys, is the key. The, well, the armor key. The gold emblem, you want the blue gemstone, and the chemical to use on plants. That's all we need right now. There's no enemies to kill, guys. As long as we're quick, you won't need to kill any enemies. Watch out for that pillar, Jill. Before you do the... <laughs> Before you do the steps in that room, come into here first. Very important. Before you get the mask in that other room, come into this doorway first. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Very sorry. almost forgot. Come over to this little tiger statue and use a blue gemstone. Use that blue gemstone there. And it will turn around and you'll see some shotgun shells. You want to take them from it. Yep, take them. There we go. Yeah, so we've um, got them shotgun shells. We use a blue gemstone on that tiger statue. Now come into this room at the end. And into this plant room. Now interact with this and you want to pump the water, say yes, and choose to turn it to red. Very important. If you turn it to green by accident, in, um, examine it again and turn it to red. It's got to be on red. Very important. You turn it to red. There we go. Then once you've turned it to red, open your inventory and use the chemical to use some plants on it. I mean, come on. It's fairly straightforward. The chemical to use on plants is obviously going to be used on the plants. If you turn that valve to green instead, it'll kill all them, all them herbs that you can see on the right as well. It'll kill all them. Obviously, you don't want to kill them because you may need them. Now, to pick all these up. Pick them all up, guys. Yes, five. <laughs> five herbs. Yeah, them combine all them. You're gonna you're going to need the space later. That's it, combine all them. Now grab this mask from the wall. 
on the shield on the wall there we go grab that mask right now he connects it right when you head down this corridor guys two zombies are going to jump through the window just make sure you're quick and head through the door I do and you should be fine if you come back in here the enemies will be in different position so just make make sure you do go through the door I go in otherwise you'll have to come back here and they'll be in a different area so yeah come straight just run straight through the corridor and in this door at the end and you'll avoid them for now back in here head down here and through this door Right, use a gold emblem above a fireplace where the old where the old rusty one was. That's it, use that there. And something will happen to the clock. There we go, the um The maintenance panel has opened up for some reason. Alright, interact with it now and you want to you want to try it. <laughs> yeah, try it. And you want to turn a large gear. And just turn it left or right, don't matter. You just need the large gear at the bottom of the green armour. Keep turning, turn which gear? The large. And you turn it left again. Because you, you just all you want, guys, keep that keep the bigger handle at the top on the red helmet. And the smaller handle once beyond the green armour. And the smaller handle, believe it or not, is controlled by a large gear. I know, it's confusing. Once you've done that, just say no to keep turning. and then the clock will move and you can grab a key so yeah it needs to be basically it needs to be at six o'clock big hand at the top small hand at the bottom grab a key from this little um hidden alcove behind it and now finally grab this ink ribbon guys finally grab the ink ribbon and once you've got that just save your game the reason we save now is because you may get poisoned on this boss coming up Yeah, you may get poisoned. And uh, if you do get poisoned, it's going to be a bit of... <laughs> create a bit of a problem for you. So if you get poisoned, just reload your safe, guys. It's only about there. Yeah, if you get poisoned, just reload your safe. Don't worry about it. Right, head up here. We've got no weapon, but don't worry. We're going to be getting another weapon soon. And we'll use that weapon on the boss. Richard is still there. Right, be quick here. Because this zombie may turn into a stronger one. Quickly run to the door in front. Yeah, use the mansion key, discard it afterwards. And yeah, unlock the door. Yeah, that zombie there, um, depending on how long how long he took, that may be a, a stronger zombie, crimson head. Um so but if you just run straight to that door in front, um you'll it, you'll um, avoid him. And then when you go back in he'd, he'd have disappeared anyway. So straight after this snake, straight as soon as you can as soon as you resume control guys, hold down and left. Hold down and left, very important. We're going to run by the snake on the left. If you try and run any opposite way, uh, just down there like that. If you try and run the opposite way, it'll always, well, not always, but most time it'll catch me. Now all we do, hide behind these pillars until it comes around. So just hide behind the pillar like this. Wait for it to go around. Whatever way it goes, run the opposite way. But don't take too long. If you leave it too late, it'll hit you just before. So behind the pillar again. Oh fucking hell, camera angle, what camera angle's gone weird. Yeah, try not to let the camera angle change like that. Yeah, so behind the pillar again. That's it, once, oh, oh shit. That was close. I see, I was a bit too early then, guys. That's what happens if you leave a bit too early. Right, you've not done any damage to him. Richard will do all the damage to begin with. Can't skip this cutscene by the way. But once this happens, we can now grab his shotgun. But we're not going to go through it, go for it first. We need to get the snake away first. 
So hold down. Hold down now. Hold down, that's it. Just get a snake away. Come behind this pillar. Make sure camera angle don't change. Once your snake's gone around the side, quickly run and grab that shotgun. There it is. Then quickly run around. There we go. Equip the shotgun and shoot him out. Make sure you shoot him in the head though, guys. Where's he going? Yeah, make sure you shoot him in the head. He takes more damage in the head. I've killed. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. He only takes two shots to the head afterwards. That's it, guys. Two shots to the heads after, and he's dead. Come to this door once done. And you'll see that zombie's gone now. He's disappeared. Whether he was a crimson head or not, he would have disappeared. And that all rooms, you can see now they get out there, guys. All your rooms should be green. And all your rooms there are green as well. Apart from that room just to the um to the east there. You see that room to the east? The type sorry, not yeah, to the east, that typewriter item box is red. And to the west, the room next to the typewriter item box to the west, that's red as well. There's another item in there which we get later. So that's how your map should look, guys. That that would be red. Green. All that's green. You've got two red rooms there, as you can see. And that's it, guys. That's how your map should be looking right now. Come through here after. Now, it's going to be a zombie here. Um, so, you just want to kill him. Just run around that pillar. H hug the wall. Run around the pillar. And then come here. You've just got a better angle to see where you're shooting. That's all. Just kill him until he's dead. Knock him down. That's it. That zombie doesn't disappear from the game, by the way. But if you don't kill him in that room, he will come and chase you into this hallway. But if you kill him there, we don't have to burn him. Because if he does, when he changes into a stronger zombie later, it doesn't matter. Because we will not be going in there to wake him. Alright, so in here. Alright, down to the item box room now, guys. We've got one more room. We need, well, three more rooms we need to clear out. And then we are... Go, go, going to go and face another boss before uh, leaving and heading to the um, residence. Well, I hope you're enjoying it so far, guys. Yeah, I, I sure am. All right, sorry, I've pressed mute on my controller somehow. Not on my controller, on my um, remote. All right, so item box. Uh, gonna put everything away for now guys we will be coming back soon so don't worry we just got a few rooms above um on the floor above that we need to clear out first so yeah just put everything away for now all you need to keep on you keep the key on you guys very important keep the key on you that armor key all right that's it for now guys just keep the armor key on you um grab these two yeah, so you grab the flame rounds. Well, incendiary rounds. I'm going to call them the flame rounds. Fucking hell. Grab the first aid spray. That's it. You don't need to put them back in just yet. You go, um, You only need five slots to um, clear out these next few rooms. So we just picked up them two. You've got the, ar the um, armor key. Come on the steps. That's it, and to here. We've you just used a mansion key to unlock it. Grab this red herb on the left here. All these doors that you keep an op opening with a lockpick, Chris has to find old keys to open them. It's a fucking pain in the ass. Alright, grab this file off this desk. There it is, sir, just near the chair. Recher researchers will. Uh, grab his hook from his little picture, this fish hook. There we go, got our fish hook. Grab a um, yellow yellow bee. Well, it's called a law of a bee, but I'm just going to call it a yellow, well, yellow wasp. Do not press the switch yet. And grab this other wasp from here. Yeah, grab that little wasp from there. 
calling it we want to call it um, now combine that yellow hook with the yellow hornet combine that's it to make the actual bait and then use it on this picture here where we stood next to you yeah use it on that picture I've just placed it there there it is I've just placed it no I don't want it back yeah leave it there and then use the other one the real the realistic looking one on this picture here and once you've done that say yes to press the switch underneath now that hornet's going to fly down and Jill's going to do a little boogie, a little dance. Oh, there we go. Hit it, Jill. Now grab, quickly grab this um, wind crest from the alcove and quickly exit the room. That's what we need to do in there, guys, in that room. We've got the wind crest. That's going to let us get the magnum. And come into this door. Right, grab this first aid box, case, first aid box. Grab this herb from down here. And grab the ink ribbon from over here. There we go, yep. Right, um, examine this to get a first aid spray from out, from inside. There we go. And then combine this green herb with that red herb. And we're good. That's it, guys. We've explored. That's it. All done. We've done everything we can. <laughs> yes, that's it. We've done everything we can for now. Every nook and cranny. Nook, 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 nook. Yeah, we're exploring everywhere. So back down to the item box. Barry left you left. Did you see that little message he's left on the wall for you? Right, we're going to save the game now. We've got the ink ribbon from that room above. Let's just save the game before we go back to the item box. And there we go. Oh, save five. Go, yeah, open the box after once you've saved, and we're going to sort our sort our gear out again. All right, let's get rid of the first aid brace. Yeah, we're already starting to get a collection of healing items, guys. Look at all these healing items I've got. This is what I say, guys. There's no need to worry about healing items. Look, woo! Look at all these. No need to worry about healing items. All right, now, 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 um, pull the ink ribbon away. Put the um, right. You want what you want, guys. You want the armor key. We've got that. You want the wind crest. We've got that. You want these three death masks. So one, two, three. You want them, and you want your grenade launcher with the grenade rounds inside four grenade rounds if you don't if you only have three um you're going to have to take a shotgun with you yeah you have to take a shotgun with you guys if you only have three um you will only need three but we've got four just in case we've got one to spare um but you may want to take a shotgun with you J in case you're worried take the shotgun with you in fact i'm going to take a shotgun with me guys just to be safe and you may want to take a healing item. If you're worried about this, take a healing item with you. There's no need to be worried though, guys. The way I'm going to take through this, all you need is three grenade rounds. That's all you need and it's very, very simple to do. Um, so yeah, but we have got a safe. You may just want to watch ahead the next five minutes. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. See if you're worried or not. If you are worried, bring a healing item. But yeah, that's it. Um, three, three death masks. Armor mask, the wind crest, and the grenade launcher. You definitely need all of them. And if you if you have three bullets or less on the grenade launcher, um, you may want to bring a shotgun as well. And a healing item if you want. Right, doorknob. Yeah, you can go through this one more time. Do not go back through it now. It's broken now. You can go back through it, but you can't come you can't come the way we just came anymore. 
Right, open this door. Yeah, no further use for the key, discard. Yeah. Yeah, you can't... You can go back through that door, guys, but you can't come back through the way we just came because the door handle will be broken. Barry will fix it later, though. So don't worry, Barry will fix it later. Now, interact with this yellow picture and press the switch next to it to turn it uh, turn it orange. It looks red to me, but okay, orange. I'll go, I'll go with it. Come around the other side. Interact with this yellow painting. Press the switch next to it to turn it green. Yeah, green. Oh, we agree on that one. Yeah, turn that green. Now interact with this red one. Now this one's red. <laughs> this one's definitely red. Press the switch, turn it purple. There we go. So only interact with them ones that I have, guys. Then come to this picture at the end. Press the switch next to it. And it will reveal the entrance even leading back to the graveyard. Grab the last death mask. Last one, there we go. Grab that last one. And unlock the shortcut. There we go, we've unlocked the shortcut to the graveyard. Lock pick again. Chris would have needed an old key. And now we're heading back down to the tomb. Now this enemy we're about to face, we have faced one already anyway. Sometimes I can kill this first time. If I, if I use a shotgun and go for a headshot, sometimes I can kill it, kill it first time. And um, but sometimes it sometimes it will not stun it. A lot of times I will stun it first time. But when you don't stun it, it'll attack you. But using the grenade launcher, the way I'm going to show you. It guarantees that you'll always knock it down and he'll never attack you. So, although the shotgun will use a little bit less ammo, and ammo that isn't as important, because grenade ammo you don't find as much, but the grenade launcher is a safer way to kill him. Um, Alright, so now, just using these four masks, guys, it's quite easy what you do. Um, basically, the, the head that's got whatever feature missing, you use the mask with the same features missing. So that one's got the nose missing. So I put the mask there with no nose. And this one on here's got the mouth missing. So I'm going to use a mask with no mouth. There we go. The coffin is going to fall down. Dracula is inside. Now make sure you've got a grenade launcher equipped. Should have four rounds if you've done what I've told you to do. Um, three or four. But you only need three. But just in case you miss, you've got a shotgun. Right. Straight after this cutscene, guys. Aim and fire. You'll knock him down. Now wait for him to recover before you fire again. Wait for him to recover before you fire again. Now. Yeah, wait for him to recover each time. Wait for it. Wait for it, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Yep. There we go. Dead. Right, come over here, grab a shotgun ammo. There we go. Interrupt the coffin, there's a... Can you believe it? There's a switch inside. But grab the item you want, the stone and metal object, very important. And equip the shotgun. We don't need it, but just in case you accidentally fire, we, we'll waste shotgun ammo. In fact, guys, you want nothing equipped, so you run faster. So nothing equipped. There we go, Jill. She's running. She's going to defeat everything melee, melee style. Right, now we're just heading back now, guys. That's it, we should have, um, there should only be one room that's red. Um, there, are, there are still some unexplored rooms here. But every room we've been in, only one should be red. And you can see it just there on the left. You see that tiny room on the left there? That's the room where we put that blue gemstone in the tiger's head. There's another gemstone we got later. We've got to put in that tiger's head as well for another item. So if you look, um, you sh all your rooms should be green. Don't worry about them little tiny squares that are red. They're elevators. They're always red. All right, guys. So let's um, let's leave the mansion. Don't worry, birdies. We'll be back later. Right, there's a zombie here. You can, if you want, just kill him with a shotgun. If you have it. But if not, just lure him away. You get plenty of space here. Get him near the wall. And then you can sort of dodge. Just get him near this wall. And then just run around him, guys. Like this. 
if you're worried, um, just shoot him, shotgun or grenade, or, or run into him. You've got plenty of defense items. But there's plenty of space to dodge him. I did say I'm not going to get you guys dodging, but that one, there's quite a big area to dodge him. Um, all right, now here you need to be quick, so the dog's going to come after you. Straight over to here, um, use this stone and metal object on this little um, slot there. There we go. Now quickly enter this door on the right. Do that quickly, guys, and the dog will not get a chance to attack. So as soon as you come down there, a dog jumps in. He's behind you. You can't see him, but you, you may have just heard him. So be quick there, guys. Come into here. Now grab a shotgun ammo. Um, grab this battery pack. Just on the end of the shelf. You can't quite see it. I think you can see it's flashing. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's a battery pad there. And the first aid spray. Uh, that will be green once you've got everything. And then exit this room through this door here. Down here. Now interrupt this red... Um, I can't remember what these are called. I can't remember what they call this wind thing um you want to stop it on on the west the red one wants to stop on west there we go you have to press yes just before it approaches the one you want it to stop on so there we go make sure you don't press it again afterwards leave it there facing west so red one wants to face west and the blue one wants to face north there we go it's facing north so red west blue north that's it. Ba basically, both need to be facing away like that. That will unlock this gate, and then you can head inside. Now, now this bit, guys. Um, these crows here that you can see. If you get too close to them, they will start attacking you. So the key here is to stay sort of in the middle. As you can see, they're both on both sides. And there's a path in the middle. If you stay in the middle of this path so you're not too close to the crows. There we go. Like this. Like me. Just in the middle of the path. The crows will not fly to you. I know. I know it's fucking weird. But. I know. It it doesn't matter. They, they don't do too much damage guys. But if you just want to save a bit of health. Yeah. Alright. So um, use that wind crest on that. And there will be three here. Take these three out. Like so. That's it. Take him out. And then use them on here. But what you need to do, you need to examine the back of each one and press X to make the to press a button which will make little prongs come out. There you go. Then use it. Once you've made the little them um, sort of lines come out of the back, you can use it. So examine the back, X, press a button, ping. Now you can use it. That's it. One more. I oh, wasn't quite on the back there. There we go. We can use that one now. And that's it. Now you're going to get the Magnum. I know guys. That's a weird puzzle. You put one just to get three. You know, what's the point? Why couldn't we just use what that one to get a magnum? I think it's because they've made it so if you haven't got enough inventory space, if you haven't got three slots, then you can't get a magnum. I know, it's fucking stupid. Right, make sure you threw them in the middle, guys. So, yeah, straight through the middle. There we go. I'm using the D-pad here, guys. Tank mode. I'm using the D-pad. And then come through this gate. There we go. Oh, I just need to, um, you may have just heard, that, heard them change dragging guys, that little groan. Don't worry, there's um, nothing to worry about at the moment. Just head along this um, garden path, I guess. Garden path. And to this eerily looking haunted house at the top. Here we go. Enter this, enter this place. Um, two herbs outside this on EC, um, but normal, there's nothing. Yeah, come through here, you've got the magnum. 
Right, yeah, so it, grab this map, almost forgot. Grab that map of the courtyard from the side of the wall there. There we go, right at the top of the steps. Come through here and let's interact with this little lamp. You'll find a note. There we go, family picture. Yeah, just interact with that lamp. You can't actually see the note, but um, <laughs> there we go. Uh, jump down here. Grab this crank from the, them wooden boards. Yeah, so grab that crank there. Climb up here. Now, we'll make a save here, guys. I don't usually save here, but um, we'll make a save just to be on the safe side, right? Um, yeah, we're going to put a grenade launcher away. We don't need grenade launch no more. We don't need a first aid, I first aid spray. Put that away. Right, what you want now, guys, you want the magnum. You want the crank. You want the shotgun shells. And you want the assault shotgun. And... Uh, yeah, that's all we need, and obviously we want to save the game, so just take the ink ribbons out so you can save. Yeah, don't worry about noise. just don't head, don't head through that door, um, let me just get my gun out so I can point. Do not head through that doorway there, so scene's going to happen, just come to typewriter, save. In the cabin. Cabin in the woods. Right, just going to drop the ink ribbons. Drop them back off, guys. Drop them back off in the uh, safe. Uh, there we go. Right, now, so this is what you should have, guys. Magnum shotgun ammo. Sh uh, assault shotgun. We don't use that normal shotgun no more. Whenever I say shotgun, guys, always the assault shotgun. Uh, crank. Yeah. And you want the Magnum equipped. Make sure you've got the Magnum equipped. You'll find out why in a second. We don't use that ammo much because it's very, it's valuable. There's a lot of damage. There's not much of it. Um, but we, we need it now and you'll see why. So there's a little cutscene. You can't skip it. But straight after, just aim and fire at the enemy that you see. Your Magnum will stun it for a few seconds. Give you a chance to run past. Just aim. Straight away and fire. Ooh! Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? There we go. Now quickly run past. That's it, guys. That's how you get past that whatever it is without taking any damage. Pull out a magnum. Bang. Then run past. Right. Now head left here. Uh, it doesn't matter either way. But um, just make sure you watch the next 60 seconds before you do this. Because something I need to tell you in a second. Yeah, come down here. Now, keep keep an eye on my camera angles. Once you get to this camera angle here, start walking. Start walking now, guys, in this camera angle. Because there's that zombie there. If you're running, you may alert him. And he may just be... He may lunge for you when that camera angle changes, so you might not see him. So make sure you walk in that camera angle just before. That's it. Once you get here, you can start running and you're safe. The reason we're not killing him, because there's no guarantee. I mean, the Magnum, most of the time, just one hit, just decapitate them. But it's not guaranteed. I mean, it's, it's very high chance, but just in case we don't, um, we will be coming back through there later, and he will turn into a stronger zombie, which we don't want. So it's best to just ignore him like that. I mean, it's not hard to dodge him, is it? I mean, there's plenty of space. So yeah, straight through here, straight through this gate. Now, uh, make sure you got shotgun equipped, ready. We're going to be killing three dogs soon. But don't worry, these dogs are a lot easier to kill than them other fucking two. Uh, just come up here and enter the door. Yeah, I, f I found a sweet sp These next three dogs, I found a sweet spot for killing them. There's a little spot near the lift and they don't they don't attack you there. I'll talk to you a bit more about it in a second. So, yeah, through this door. Yeah, with Resident Evil games, there's uh, certain places near elevators or like stairways. Sometimes you can, you can stand near them and, it tri and enemies... The, the way that enemies are coded, they don't attack you when you're near them. 
Right, straight after, run up here. And then run up here quickly. Be quick before you, any of these um, dogs react to you. And then come here. Then once you're here, nudge forward slightly so the camera angle changes. Now, they won't attack you here. I don't know why. Because <laughs> we're not actually on the lift, but they will not attack you. So just stand around here, just behind, there's a vase there and a little sort of um, garden sprayer thing there. Now, um, it will take him a minute to come to you though. You may have to wait. Just wait for him to come to you. You can hear them. But this is better than taking damage, right? Better than taking damage, just wasting a minute or so. Oh. What you can do, you can sort of um once you you can shoot once you aim onto them if you want. Oh there's one. There he is. There's three dogs here by the way. Yeah, what you can do. You can sort of look away and aim. If you aim onto them. They know one is in your line of fire, and you can just, even though he's not in your, even though he's not on the screen, you know you're going to hit him because you've aimed onto him. There we go. It should be three. Bloody kids. Can you hear that? Kids are screaming. He'll come in a second. Just wait. Come on, doggies. One more left. The only thing is, if you're they're too far away, you won't do much damage, guys. That's the only thing. Right, it's one more left, I think. And I may just run out and get this one. Oh, there he is. See, they don't attack you. I don't know why. But yeah, see, that's all three of them dead, guys. That's the easiest way to do it. It's up to you. You can just try and run around and shoot them. But it's a bit of a, sh it's a, bit of a stupid area. It's not really anywhere to sort of camp. They sort of come from all directions. That's the best place to kill them. Yeah, grab this green herb. And come through this gate. Yeah, that's the... E I know it takes a minute or two, guys, but... It is the safe way to do it because they can't attack you there. That's why it takes so long for them to come to you. It's like they know you're there, but because they don't attack you, they're not like running straight for you. Um, now, use a crank on this. Um, use a crank here. There we go. You'll love it when we come back down here later because there's your bloody little snakes that jump at you and they're pain in the ass. You can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. Right down the ladder. We created a waterfall. Down a ladder, up a ladder. I just um, point out to you now, guys. Later on when we come back through here, there's going to be a little snake. There's, I mean, it's going to be loads of snakes here. But it's going to be a particular snake coiled up here. Just where my gun is pointing on the floor. It's going to be coil, coiled here. And when we come through here later, he's going to jump at you. And if he hits you, he's likely going to poison you. Um, but the way we're going to do it... You, you may forget this, guys. But I'm just going to give you a bit of a heads up. We'll come through here, but we're going to keep to the right. Because if you run on the left, this side, it makes some more snakes fall down. But if you keep to the right... They fall down a bit later. So keep to the right. Come down here. As soon as the camera angle changes like this. Quickly aim. Now if you do it quick enough. You will aim straight into that snake in the corner. Near that little lamp. And you'll be able to shoot him from where you are. They've got a little damage. So one shot from where you are will kill it. But you've got to be quick. So you don't aim onto it. There will be tons of snakes. So if, you, if you're not quick. And other snakes will appear. And you'll aim onto them instead. So just head straight down here. Head, keep into the right. As soon as our uh, camera changes, aim, boom, and then run down here, sort of in this line I'm taking, and then back to the ladder. Yeah, if you do it that way, you should kill the snake here. But just in case you don't kill it, when you come down here, run to this corner, 
then run to this corner and then hug this wall here and then come straight down the ladder and then that that's that line that line you run that's that's the best line to run when you're coming down there if you want to reduce your chance of getting hit by the snakes but it is a bit of a pain in the ass we will have some uh, herbs to heal so it's not the end of the world but I'm just giving you a heads up about that guys in case you do want to try and avoid damage altogether there right so straight across here straight through this doorway this gate if you try and keep to the side there where I did you shouldn't really attract too many of them crows but you don't give them much chance to attack you anyway because you exit the room straight away uh, so in here grab this red herb and mix it with that green so we've got a red green mix now snakes again here guys so just run straight to the end now they're the snakes I'm talking about yeah just run straight to the end and they'll all be I was about to say swimming they'll all be slithering away from you alright here we are here we are come from here uh, grab one of these blue herbs yeah, grab a blue herb guys and mix that with the red green to make a red green blue mix now go leave the other two herbs there for now just leave them there for now and come through this door right straight away aim up and fire to hit this fucking spider that's going to be above your head quickly aim up fire there we go down fire there we go now two shots should kill it but if not you may just be ready you may have fire third so aim up fire and then just aim straight ahead, fire, and you should kill it. If the second don't kill it, you may just have to kill it again, uh, shoot it again, sorry. Now grab this green herb. Grab this green herb. There's another spider, but we're not going to be going near him, so it shouldn't be a problem. Come down these steps, grab the shotgun shells from here, guys. Yep, grab them. Grab this. No, don't grab that for a second. Grab the first aid box first. Um, examine that. Open it up. Yeah, you find a herb mix of green and blue. Now combine the two greens together. There we go. And now grab the red book. I see it should have enough space. And that's everything in this room. There we go. Now exit the room again. Again? <laughs> We've not exited it yet. Yeah, just exit the room now. Yeah, that's it, guys. That's the way to clear that room. Right, now to item box. We'll make a save. Uh, first, we'll just push this crate down. Get it in the right place. Now, it's two holes. Yeah, you see them two holes there? Now, they won't do it yet. But um, later on when we come back through here, plants will appear from them holes and they will try and grab you. Well, they will grab you um, and they will damage you. But there is a little way to avoid them. You just have to keep moving the crate in a certain place each time you come through. But we'll just move it there for now and then come into this item box. We've covered that hole, that other hole we see. Yeah, coming through here will make a save now. Uh, so grab this uh, battery pack first. There we go. And let's get rid of all that junk. Right. Let's put put the magnum away. We don't need the magnum anymore, guys. Get rid of that. Don't need it anymore. Well, we do need it later, just not not right now. Uh, reload the shotgun and keep that on you. Keep the assault shotgun on you. Put a crank away. You don't need it for now. Yeah, put a crank away, guys. There we go. Yeah, put a crank away. And put a red book away. We don't need that for the time being. We'll need it soon, but we don't need it right now. Put that away. Put all these healing items away. Uh, okay, now we can go there. And we'll we'll leave we'll leave the complete ones a bit closer to the top. There we go. Yeah, so that's just all we want for now, guys. Uh, the assault, just the assault rifle. That's it. Uh, now we're going to grab his ink ribbon, guys, and we're going to make a save. 
It's an old typewriter. You say yes. Save number seven. Right, item box, guys. Um, put, let's put the ink ribbon back. Let's put that back. That's it. So we've just got the salt shotgun, and then we're going to head out. Right, we're going to head here now over this crate. Make sure it's blocking this hole here. It's, it's actually on top of a hole right now. If you're not blocking the holes, they normally, when you're running away from a hole, a plant will attack you from one of them. And um, so through this door, uh, here all the way to the end. Now you can see uh, there's a map. There's a map flashing on that wall. There, you can see it. Do not get that yet. Do not touch that map. When you remove that map, it reveals a hole and uh, bees will come through. So don't touch that map just now. Come through this door. 002. Come over here, grab a file. That's it, plant 42 report. Now push these, but okay. We're not going down the ladder right now, but we're going to move these for later. So push that one to the wall, that firewall, and push this one to the wall on the right here. There we go, there's a ladder there, we'll be going down there later. And then come into this door here. Now a zombie will come through here soon. And the game's a bit weird here. And the, it weren't, when the zombie bursts through, when you first aim, it doesn't auto aim onto the zombie. I don't know why. I don't know why it happens. Even if you wait a second or so, it takes the time you can auto aim onto him. He's like on you. And you, you don't get a chance for attacking time. So you sort of have to aim manually on this zombie. This zombie is going to come through in a minute. You sort of got to aim manually. But don't worry. It's fairly simple to do, guys. So you just heard a door unlock. Grab this key flash on the shelf. Now, you can get out of this room really quick. If you're quick, the zombie doesn't come in. But we want him We want him to come into this room, guys. We want to kill him in this room. Because then we don't have to worry about passing him later when he turns into a crimson head. So we want to kill him in this room. So once we change camera angle. Well, I'm going to do this quick. There he is. Come into this corner. Turn around. Aim up. When he's close, fire. There we go. That's it, yeah, he's dead. And it wasn't a headshot, so he's going to be a, a stronger zombie later. But because I don't need to come back in this room, I don't have to worry about waking him up. If he didn't come in there, um, he would be out here wandering about and you would have to hit him. But yeah, that's the easy way. Now, um, if you've been reading the tutorial, if you've been reading the files, you would know. But to do a 180 really fast, um, just use the analog, just move the right analog stick in any direction and you'll do a 180 like this. Just any direction, move the right analog stick and you'll do a 180. And all I did in that uh, bathroom, I just ran into the corner like this. So look, I'm, it's quite easy to tell if you run into a corner. Just run directly into a corner, stop, press the right analog stick, I turn around and I was facing him. That's it guys, that's simple. All right, <laughs> I know I'm explaining it, explaining it to you afterwards, um, but as you've seen, there's not quite much time to explain the actions there as they happened. All right, so each time you come through it, you're going to have to pull, push a crate um, over there, and then climb over it. Basically, basically, guys, this hole here, that one will attack you when you run in this way, and that hole there, that attacks you when you're running towards that door. So, I know, I know weird, but this is where you have to avoid it. There we go. Now use the key on this door, discard it afterwards. That key we collected in that bathroom. Right, first we want to clear out, don't go in that little room on the side first. First we just want to empty this room, because there's going to be a zombie in here later. Basically that, that hanging, hanging zombie is going to fall down. But it's not going to fall down until we've been in the bathroom. So we're just clearing this room out now. Then we don't have to worry about coming back in here. So yeah. And then come in this room here. That's another key we need to get. 
They don't follow you back to the main hallway, so as long as you're quick, right, drain the bathtub, grab a key from inside, then quickly exit, and then exit to the hallway. Then we'll go back to the item room and we'll make a save, guys. There we go, control room key. Grab that, come out here. And quickly out here, there we go. Easy way to avoid the zombies. Right, let's make a save one more time before we um Yeah, we won't we we won't be making another save now guys for a while. Um But yeah, put the handgun ammo away. Uh you want the red book now. And obviously you need an ink ribbon to save the game. So let's just save. Just make sure right, all your rooms should be green. The green on mine. Don't worry about them red hallways for now. But them rooms should be green. In fact, I'm sorry, I meant to grab a blue herb before he came back in here. So grab one blue herb guys from this hallway. Uh, there should be two left. We grabbed one earlier. That's it, just grab one. Leave the other one there. So I meant to do this before we went back into the safe room. Yeah, just grab one of them blue herbs. We're going to leave that one there later, just in case we do get poisoned by snakes on the way back through the um, courtyard. Right, we'll make a save now. So let's save the game. It's an old typewriter. Save your progress. Yes. Uh, number eight, no data. That's it. All save slot. You don't get many, do you? Only eight. You don't get many at all. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start from the top again. Once we've uh, so once we save again, we'll start from the top and just start overwriting them. So yeah, um, open the safe. Uh, put the ink ribbons back. Lighter. No. Why have I got a lighter? I accidentally swapped it, didn't I? Alright, so let's put our blue herb away. There we go. Let's put that down a bit further, actually. Alright, so that's what you want, guys. Assault. Actually, I need to make sure that's loaded. Make sure your shotgun's loaded. Uh, yeah, we're loaded. Loaded. Yeah. So you want the assault shotgun fully loaded. You want the self defense gun. I know it's only got one bullet. Um, you've got the red book and you've got the control room key. That's all we need, guys. Equip the self-defense gun you're going to you need that first. I know, a little fucking pea shooter. Look at that, a little pea shooter. Stop, I have a gun. Or something. Right, we now need to push this crate back over that other hole, guys. Make sure it's covering the hole. That's it. And then come through here. Yeah. That one near the door. Um, on the way towards this door, which we're going through now. A plant will always attack from that other hole that we just push a crate under. And when you're heading back towards the other hallway, then the plant will attack from the other hole. So you just have to move that crate each time to um, avoid it. If it does grab you, just return the analog stick and press all four uh, front buttons to um, avoid it. Alright. So we're down the ladder now. There's a ladder here. Dark ladder. We're on about 1 hour 52 at the moment, guys. Um, so it's only about just over an hour left and then we'll be finished. The first playthrough. Right, we've got to push these three crates into the um, pool here. Yeah, just push all three of these in. You've got to, you've got to push these two in first. And if you do make a mistake, um, just exit the room and then come back into and reset it all. You shouldn't make a mistake. The only way you would is if you this box I'm pushing now. If you pushed it towards the opposite wall. Then obviously you won't be able to get behind it, push it down. We just climb back up the ladder and come back down to fix it. Yeah, the self-defense gun, um, we're going to use that on the first shark. Now the sharks, they your normal weapons, they don't do much damage to them. And 
honestly, most of the times, if you just run straight to the door, which we're going to be heading for, the sharks catch you 10, 20% of the time. Most of the times, I can get to that door without them attacking me. But sometimes, the odd time, they will catch me. So I'm just this way. I'm showing you, showing you now. It's just an easy way to kill them, and then you've not got to worry about getting damaged. So grab this green herb. The reason we use the self-defense gun first because otherwise you it'll take about three hits to kill each one, and sometimes they will both come sort of in. They'll come together. They'll sort of be inside each other, and when that happens, you only be be able to attack one at a time, and normally the other one will get you. So this way you can get the first one out of the way really quick. So you've only got one to worry about. There is a big one, so do not stand still for too long. Just stop, fire, move on, and just hit e hit um, hit them as they come to you. So straight after, self-defense gun equipped. Kill the first one. There we go, it's dead. Equip the assault shotgun. Keep running. Shoot the next one when it gets close. When it gets close again, shoot. There we go. And kill him again, that's it, three shots. You need to keep running, otherwise that giant shark that just jumped out, it will try and grab you like that. There he is, that huge fella, daddy, big daddy. Yeah, if you stay still, he'll jump out and he'll instant kill you guys. Yeah, discard the control room key afterwards. Yeah, so self-defense gun on the first one, as soon as you see it, that will kill it in one hit. And then the next one, just shoot it. Once it gets close, well, not too close, it will, it will get, it will catch you with an attack. But just kill him when he gets reasonably close. It will take three shots to kill, and he will, he will swim away after each shot. So don't worry. Now, once you climb down the ladder, just examine this sort of whiteboard on the table, and make a mental note of what valve it says. Caution: in case of a drop in oil pressure control, open valve. Hashtag one. So open valve one. So make a mental note of what valve number you have, guys. It, it's different every game. For me, it's valve one. So valve one I've got. Grab this map off the wall. There we go. Map off the wall. Now come through here. Now interact with this control panel here. The far one, this one here. Yep, press a switch. Whoa! Emergency. He's pissed. Emergency. I didn't mean to kill you. <laughs> yes. Your offspring, I'm sorry. Alright, so once you've done that, interact with this one on the right. That's it to release the safety. Once you've done that, then the one on the left here. Pull the lever down. To um, close the shelter, but it's broken. So once it's broken, come over to the valve and interact with these broken valves here. And press whichever, whatever valve you had on your on that marker board. Press which you had. So I had valve one. So there we go. And that will release it. And come back in here after. Interact with this one on the right again. That's it. This one again on the right. And then the left once more. It should work now. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed, it should work. Alright, once they're both down, once they're both shutters are down, um, interact the far one, again the middle one, to drain the water. There we go. We've drained his home, his habitat. I know, <laughs> I know it's already been drained. Now come through here, grab this first aid box. There we go, yes, take it please. I'll have that. Examine it. Should be two green herbs inside. Yep, and then mix them with that single one that you have. There we go, we've got a full herb mix. And we've got seven shotgun shells. Right, we're not going to collect any items for the time being, guys, because we need, we need our free slots. You'll see soon, you'll see soon why we need them, but you need to keep your slots free. So don't collect anything just yet. Come to this door. All we're going to collect down here is a key. Um, everything else can wait. Everything else can wait for a moment. So we're just going to collect a key. Come down here. 
Now you may you may not have killed them sharks at the top. You may, well you would have killed the first one, but some you may not have killed that second one depending on how far away he's from. I've had times when he's he's not come back. He's not come to me. He's not come for me three times. I've had times when he, he's swum away so far. Um, but if you didn't kill them both, one will be just um, on the floor lay. You just have to uh, try not to run too close to him, and he won't damage you. Fairly easy. You can't really move. Right. Once you've interacted with this uh, this little key that's flashing in the corner, that little um, box. Push this in, push this sort of control box into the water and then flick this lever out of them, give them a bit of a shock. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate buddy. Serves him right of trying to kill me. Right, grab this key now, it's in the water, there we go. We've got a residence key. I say we don't want to collect anything else for now guys, that's all we wanted to collect. Right, yeah, sometimes a shark here, if you didn't kill them, all them little ones. Just keep to the side and... Or is it here? No, maybe it's here. Yeah, just keep to the side. And um, if there is a little shark there, then he won't be able to damage you. Don't collect any items, guys, for the time being. Right, come through this um, gate. Come through a gate here. And then up this ladder, it's magnum ammo there guys, yeah, but leave it. We're going to be coming back down here soon, basically, to kill the plant. You don't have to kill it, um, you don't have to kill it for every nook and cranny either, every nook and cranny. But I just wanted to um, let you do it this way. Just let you get a feel, a feel for how you do it, because we will be doing it on um, Real Survivor. Yeah, it just give you a bit of a familiarize yourself a bit really for the method right climb ladder I mean I'm telling you what to do so <laughs> I guess you don't really need to but it does it um, can't help it helps doesn't it can't help can't hurt that's what I meant to say it can't hurt that's the one right through this door after guys use the residence key Discard it afterwards. Right, it's going to be some bees in here, so be quick. Don't collect anything else. We're just collecting like a little spray gun. Yeah, magazine ammo there. Leave it. Magazine ammo? Handgun ammo. Just try and zigzag to avoid these bees. Uh, grab his spray can. That's it. It's holding between his legs. I don't know what he's been doing with it. Well, insecticide spray. Yeah, just zigzag to avoid these if you can. And quickly, oh, one was right close to me then. And quickly exit. So all we, all we wanted, guys, was that insectis, insecticide spray. That's all we wanted from there. Once you got that, come back through this hallway. Now we're going to take the map. So just press X once, and then keep pressing circle. Well, say yes, and then keep pressing circle. Do not, do not examine that hole again. Don't examine that hole after taking the map. Just straight away after taking the map, open your inventory and use this insecticide spray on the hole. If you examine that hole after taking the map, bees will come through. Do not examine it, guys. Just as soon as you take the map, open your inventory and use that spray. There we go. They're all dead. Got head back in there. Again, don't touch the hand ammo. Do not touch the hand ammo. Leave it. We'll get it later when we come back. Just come through here and grab this key. Oh, either. Ouch. That, look, that looks painful. Fuck. Right, use residence key. Discard it afterwards. Right, come through this door. Don't worry, there's no enemies in this room and it's nothing to collect. But you need to at least have been in this room to make it um, to make it turn green. Now that's a room that's quite easy to uh, miss. Even looking at the map, it's quite easy to miss. It looks like it's one of them rooms that you've been in or that you're not allowed to enter. 
Yeah, that room's very easy to miss, by the way. Um, all right, she's come over to this bookcase. You can see them um, distinct books sticking out, highlighted, that white one in the middle of the red one. Interact with this to take the white book out from the middle. Sandwich between them, a Jill sandwich. And once you've taken the white book out, use the red book on it. There we go. As you can see, there's sort of a picture on there. It's a picture of a naked lady. Yeah, don't get too excited, some of you. Uh, reorder the books. So the first one. So pick it up, the first one, and move that with a fourth. So change the first with a fourth. And change the second with the... Is that six? Six book? Yeah, change the second with a six. And change the third with the seventh. With the last one. There we go, that's it. So we've made a naked woman. Oh. Alright, so that should be everything in this room, guys. In these rooms, yeah, there we go. We should have five inventory slots. Yes, we have. Now exit this room. Now we're going to um, create the V-Jolt and then go and kill the plant. The easy way. A little bit longer, but it's easier. Uh, right, this panel, um, the code for it. Now there's six different combinations it can be. It's, it can be any combination of three, five, six, so any combination of three, five, six. What I like to do first, guys, is first I put three on the first one, then the second one I put five, and then six on the third. Then I then I go six and then five. Then I'll go five, uh, three, six, six, three, and then I'll go six, three, five, and five, three. So quite easy. First, I go off the first one. I put three on the first one. Then change these two, so I get both combinations. Then I go, then I put five on the first one. Change these two to get both combinations. Then I put six. So, just give you a quick, um, just to quickly tell you, it can be so it can be three five six, or three six five, or five three six, or five six three, or six three five, or six five three. All right, guys, so three, I'm going to go three, five, six first. Three, five, six, no. So I'm going to change it to three, six, five. No, all right, so let's go five. All right, five, uh, three, six. Oh, there we go, five, three, six it was for me. It's different every time, guys. There is a way to work in it out in another room, but that's just a quick way to do it. Otherwise, it means going to your box. Getting a your lighter, killing another spider. So that's the easy way to do it. Alright guys, we're in the V-Jolt room now. Now this... I remember when I first tried doing this, it's a fucking pain in the ass to... I mean, it's not really that complicated, really, if you look around and explore your surroundings um, and read the files, but um, it can confuse a bit at first if you're trying to rush it. So grab all four empty bottles, um, fill two with water, so interact with the sink to get two with water, there we go, it's water, another one with water. There we go, so I've got two with water now. Then interact with the red one, guys. The big red jar. There we go, so we've got the big red jar. Then interact with the green, the yellow jar. There we go, yellow jar. So we've got two water, one yellow, one red. Now, connect, combine the water with the red to get the purple. Now combine the yellow with the purple to get the orange. All right, guys, you with me? You with me still? All right. <laughs> now grab the yellow. Uh, so yellow again. There we go. Now combine the yellow with the water to get the green. Now combine the green with the orange to get the blue. Now we just want one more red. There we go. One more red. Now combine the red with the blue to get a V-Jolt. There we are, guys, the V-Jolt. If you do make a mistake, just mix the wrong ones and it'll and they will all get um cancelled out, they'll all be empty again. If you mix the wrong the wrong ones, guys, they'll all just go empty again and they can start again. Basically, you want a mix red with water. Yeah, and then the result from that, mix that with a yellow, and then the result from that, mix that with a yellow and water, and the the result from that mix it with a red. So it's um, so it's red water. Then mix that one with a yellow. That will um, give you a, a number ten. 
then you mix uh, yellow with the water, then the result from that, mix that with the one you've already mixed, which is a number 10, that will be a number 17 then, and then just mix a red with that one to make the V jolt, which is number 20. Yeah, so that's it guys. <laughs> that bit at the end, that might that may have be, uh, been a bit confusing, but just watch it again from the start. I think I did explain that fairly straightforward right from the beginning. Yeah, so once you've done that, we're just heading back down to the um, water area now, guys. Back down to the water area. Yeah, so we've got the V-Jolt back down to the water area. And on our... On our way back through here, guys, we'll collect all the items that we missed. I mean, as you know now, we had to keep our inventory slots open um, for all them fucking bottles. I did I did try a few nook and cranny, um, leaving the bottles, but as Jill, you do need to collect them because it makes the room red. I believe when you're Chris, um, they don't really count. The room stays green, even with them inside. Um... It's basically because Chris can't pick them up. Um, when you Chris, Rebecca does it, and you can't. It's not like a swap to Rebecca on the fly. You get one chance, and if you mess it up, um, obviously you can't do it again. So um, yeah, as Chris, you don't have to get them, but as Jill, you do. You do. So back through here into the control room. We're going to be heading up the ladder. Don't worry guys, no sharks. The water's been drained. Come on, you know the water's been drained. You've just done it. Oh, look, no water. Yeah, coming through this door here. The guard room. This door, this room is easily missed. I missed this room as well, I remember. I think I remember running everywhere. And then I came down here, and it was this fucking room here. This was one of them. Alright, so... The big plant tentacles. Don't go too close. I think they do damage you. And just use the V-Jolt. There we go. That'll kill it. Easy. You don't have to fight a plant boss now. That kills it. You probably don't need a bottle anymore. Throw it away. Yes. That gets rid of all four bottles, by the way. There we go. It gets rid of all four bottles, guys. Now we can pick up all, pick up all that gear we uh, missed. The plant boss, I do hate it a little bit. Um, it's one of them bosses where you need to... It takes a bit of experience, takes a bit of practice. For beginners, I don't think it's a great boss. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of m uh, messing around with that boss. Um, you've got a big plant. We do have to kill it with Chris. We will have to kill it with Chris at one point. Um, but for now, it's not, not really any need to kill it now. Jill can avoid it altogether. Chris can't. He can reduce its health, but um, he can't kill it like Jill can. Yeah, it's got all these tentacles swapping around, and they're a fucking pain in the eyes to hit. Um, sorry, guys. Uh, sorry, grab the shotgun ammo from here, guys. Sorry, I'll, I'll go back to that in a minute. Yeah, grab that shotgun ammo from here. Come through here and grab the magnum ammo, and then head all the way back up to um to the room... Uh, to the room where the bees were. Yeah, so we've got that magnum ammo there. Make sure this has all been explored. There we go. And then head back up to the top, guys. Yeah, because the plant boss, um, you, you have to hit its uh, main bulb in the center. And the tentacles get in the way. And you can waste... Now, if you've got good ammo, you can kill it pretty quick. But... If you're not hitting its tentacle, if you're not hitting its bulb, you waste a lot of ammo on it if those bloody tentacles get in the way. And it spit acids at you as well. It's got little tiny, it's got little tiny bulbs hanging around that spit acid on you. It's it is easy to kill with um with auto aim, but on real survival, when you can't aim, it's a fucking pain in the backside. So yeah, <laughs> and we will be ignoring it on real survival, guys. So I did it this way here, although it's a little bit longer. I just wanted to familiarize you a little bit of the method all right still awake hope so let's go through here because we're going to be collecting some more items now 
Um, just a mag, uh, the not the magnum ammo, the handgun magazine just on the side there on that centre table. You see it, and that little display in the centre. Grab that. And there's a red herb over here. Grab this. Right, we should have everything in here now. She looks like she's running really slow there. Yeah, now through here. Now we're heading through that doorway that we um, revealed earlier. When we moved the books around. A secret doorway. Yeah, now through this door, guys. And here is a plant. Is it dead? Yay, Barry, you saved me. Alright, grab a key from in the fireplace. Every time you see Barry, you can talk to him for a little scene. You can talk to him again now. There'll be a little scene if you want. Yeah, come to this door after. That's it. We've got the key, guys. The helmet. I think that's a helmet key. Just got a trophy. The key master. All right, just heading all the way back through now, guys. We're just going to make a save. And uh, then we're done in the residence. We will not be coming back here. So just make sure you have um, cleared every room. Just check your map. Yeah, there's one red room there. Don't worry, that's just got one blue herb in there. We will be collecting that on the way out. So don't worry about that red hallway near the entrance. But everywhere else should be green. Just make sure it's all green and it's all been um, revealed. There we go. Your map should look exactly the same as mine. Yep. Oh, Wesker. Yeah, and back through here. Oh, what did I squash? Right, the plant's dead, guys. No need to move the crate. The plant's dead. It's not going to grab you. Look. Come on. Oh, oh, oh you're dead. Haha. <laughs> yeah, the plant's dead. <coughs> Sorry. Voice went croaky. <clears throat> Too many grabbits. Alright, guys. Um, You need a assault shotgun with you now. That's all you need for now. Oh yeah, you, sorry, you need the Magnum as well, guys. Make sure that's reloaded. We'll save it in a second, guys. Let's just get rid of some of these, this stuff we don't need. Let's just get our inventory ready slightly. We'll leave that red herb down there. Let's try and keep all the all them together, all the full, full herbs. Yeah, let's make sure that shotgun's fully loaded. Get rid of that self-defense gun. We won't be using that again. And we want the Magnum. Yeah, so that's it, guys. That's all you want for the time being. That's all you want. You don't need the helmet key for now. Because um, before we need it again, we will be passing another item box. But yeah, so that's what you want for now, guys. Magnum, assault shotgun, and we need the ink ribbon to save. So Magnum and Assault Shotgun for now. Uh, let's just make a safe. Oh, I'm going to have to overwrite a save here. Alright, there we go. Alright guys, let's put the ink ribbon away and um, get on our merry way. Yeah, ink ribbon, so assault shotgun, magnum, I keep saying guys, but yeah, that's what we need. Make sure you got our assault shotgun equipped and yeah, let's head out. You want to grab this um, blue herb here guys, grab this one, just, just in case you get poisoned. Um, I'm hoping you shouldn't, but just in case. We're heading back into back into the mansion now. Second visit to the mansion. We will be coming back again after that. So there's um, three times in total you have to spend in the mansion. But the third visit, is you're in there very briefly. Very, very briefly. Alright, there's cr this part of the courtyard before there's crows in there. But now there's, now there's some dogs. So it's going to kill them. There's only two. Um, just quickly. Just aim ready. 
Oh, did I get two of one bullet there? Uh, one bullet. Yeah, one shell. Uh, let's aim. Yeah, I did. There we go. Kill them both. That's it. Yeah, kill them two dogs, guys. Just, um, when you come in, stay near the gates. You've got a clear view of them when they're coming at you. And they just aim and fire. That's it. Up the, up the um, I was going to say up the ladder. Up the elevator. Right. This is... If you remember, on our way through here earlier, um, I mentioned some snakes. Now, this is the part. You want to stay to the right here. So stay to the right. Run all the way down here. Once you get to this corner, quickly aim. Like that. Fire. If you quit, you should aim on that snake in the corner. And then follow this line I'm taking down here to this ladder. And there we go. That's... How you get there, if you take that route, most of the time you'll be untouched because some snakes do bloody poison you. That's why I've brought that poison herb along, guys. So, all you do, you come out of lift, you keep to the right. When you get to that corner, quickly aim. If you're quick enough, you should aim onto a snake, just um, a head coiled up in the corner. You shoot that one because that's one that will always poison you. It's just sitting there waiting, it's waiting for this little snack. So just aim quickly, you need to be quick, so if you're not quick, other snakes fall in, and you'll aim onto them instead. So just run, as soon as you get to the corner, when that camera angle changes, aim, you'll aim onto that snake, um, down near the bottom of the screen, to the left, shoot it, it'll die from one shot, and then you can just um, run that line where I took, and you should be okay guys. I did mention that to you earlier on, um, well I mentioned the, the actual line you take, so um that should have helped. But yeah, leave that blue herb there. We're going to need it later. And come back in the mansion. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the mansion. I'm going to say the residence, but yeah, my Barry's left some more treats here for you. Good old Barry. Um, so you got a battery pack, guys. Want to collect um, this first aid spray. And you got some more grenade rounds. Get loads of. I mean. It looks like you don't get much grenade ammo, but compared to real survival, guys, you get tons of grenade ammo on this. Right, it's back into the mansion. Leave that um, item in there. It, it's red in this room, but don't worry, we'll be clearing it later. Come through here. Now you want to equip the magnum. Very important, guys. Now equip the magnum. Right, come up here, it's going to be a little cutscene. Oh, sh oh shit, who's that? <laughs> little cutscene, this is another one that shit me out on the, back in the day. As soon as you get control, run to the door, aim, fire. It'll take one or two shots. There we go, he's dead. We we'll use some magnum for them. Magnum, magnum will always kill him in one or two shots. Most of the time it'll be one shot, but sometimes it will be two. Then there's two more in here we need to kill. Just run up here, aim, fire. That's that one there. And now just wait, another one's gonna make sure there's this camera angle you've got. He's gonna jump down, kill him. There we go. That's it, you wanna kill them. You just wait there for that other one to jump down, guys. So just run in, quickly aim. Fire. You got auto aim, guys. Shouldn't be any problem for you. What hunters do, they normally, when they first become alerted to you, they pause for a second or two when they do their little, their little cry, their little, um, little um, roar that they do, and it just gives you a second to quickly get to them, aim and fire. So yeah, you shouldn't really have any problems there, guys. All right. Let's just get rid of this ammo. Right, we don't need the magnum anymore for now. Um, so I've just loaded it there, ready for next time. Yeah, let's just have a quick look at all these first aid items, guys. So look at all these first aid sprays I've got. Um, all these healing items, look at that. Plenty of healing items to go around. Alright, so all we need for now, we just want the shotgun. And the ammo for it. There we go, that's all we want for now. Um, let me just have a quick scan. Oh yeah, sorry, and the mansion key. <laughs> Don't want to forget that. And the mansion key, guys. That's all you need for now. Shotgun, the ammo for it. And the mansion key. Alright, so let's equip that. 
You can make a save here, guys, if you want. Just get an increment from the box. I'm not going to. I'll save a bit later. But yeah, make a save there if you're a bit worried. We will be passing some spiders and that shortly. But um, we will be killing them all. We're not going to be um, trying to dodge past them. We'll be killing them all. So it's not too much to worry about. Right, so straight here. Straight to the end. And through this door here into the um, little study. You can unlock this door now here. There we go. Unlock it. That new key we've got, it opens three doors. So... We will get rid of it eventually, but it's going to take a bit of time. Now, the camera angle is here, really, really annoying. First, start pushing, pushing this statue. Now, push it all the way down to the end. Do not worry, them walls that are, clo them walls that are closing in, they will get stuck on the statue. They will not kill you, don't worry. If the statue's not here, obviously, you'd be a Jill sandwich. Or you'd fit nicely into a sandwich, as Barry would say. Now. Um, once you push it all the way to that wall, come around the back back of them and press a switch. And you need you need to be quick here, guys. As soon as you pressed it, head back. Back into the middle. Down to the statue. And now push it all the way left. You've got to get it to that other opening. And if you get it just in front of it, it will slot in automatically. There we go. That's all you need to do. If you fail, you just have to go and press a button again and retry. You will only fail because of dodges camera angles. Um, right, so once through here, grab this dagger. From there, uh, that's everything from there, yeah. And then jump down this hill at your feet. Jump down it. Grab this red book. Yeah, the book of the north. Grab it. And then interact with this, get a file. And then interact with it again to find a switch. Press the switch and then jump, well, climb down the ladder. Spiders now, guys. That's one. Kill it. It's going to take two or three shots. Two or three. Another one there. That's two. There's one more. There. Oh, no. That's it. Once or three are dead, guys. Um, grab this map from the wall. There we go. Don't worry, if you get poison, there's a poison, there's a blue herb in the next room. Grab the shotgun shells. There we go. Poison won't actually kill you, by the way. It just, it takes your health right down to danger, but it won't kill you. I'm not sure how much in danger, whether it takes your health to 1% or 5% or whatever. But yeah, it'll take you down to danger, but it won't kill you. It'll just leave you there. Right, there's a blue herb, uh, so you want to take that and the red herb. Because we are going for every nook, uh, nook and cranny, aren't we? So yeah, collect these guys. Combine them. Yeah, get them. No, you, you can't combine them. You have to use the green herbs. You can't combine them that way. Right, I need to reload. Right, two zombies here, so get ready to kill them. Uh. Oh, shitty. Oh, great. Well, that didn't work well, did it, guys? Oh, what the f- <laughs> What the fuck? Alright, well, I completely waste all them defense items, but we've got plenty. So, yeah, try not to let that happen, guys. That's what happens if you wait too long before you fire. But we're no worries. Look, I've still got six defense items left. But that was a complete waste of time. That's what happens if you try and let them get too close. You don't want to be about six feet. It can be hard to tell. Like that camera angle, it is a bit hard to tell exactly their distance. Um, but yeah, don't you let them get too close because that may happen. Grab this magazine from here. That's it. Um, so you grab that defense item in the corner near the gate. Uh, that magazine, that should be everything. Yes. Come through this door. Do 
Right, one zombie in here. No need to attack him. He's not going to be any a nuisance. Grab his defense item uh, from there. Now just let him come to you and then you can run around the opposite side of the table. Easy. Use the elevator. And then head inside. These elevators so always stay red on the map, don't worry about it. That's just how they are. The thing you can do. Um, okay. So keep this wall here, come down here, and a zombie will pop out from that corner. Yeah, you got that one, headshot him. Now some herbs here, as you can see, we need to get all these. Now let's combine them. Now you're not going to have much space for anything else, so you're probably going to have to use the herb here, guys. Because there's something else we need to collect and it will save us coming back in this room. Wait for there's another zombie around this corner. So wait for him to come to you so you don't run into him by accident when the camera angle changes. Come on. Oh, there he is. Yeah, we're not coming back in here, guys, so um, we don't need to worry about killing them or not. Well, I'm sorry, decapitating them. We're not coming back here, so don't have to worry about them coming back as crimson heads. Right, shotgun ammo. Yeah, oh, yeah, grab that. Now, you're going to have to use a herb now. Grab the acid rounds here. Yeah. Grab the battery pack. And grab the battery off the shelf, off the cabinet. There we go. Let's reload ready. Back out. You should have done everything now in these few rooms. Yep, they're all green. Right, we're back in familiar familiar territory now. You'll know these you know these rooms we're going through for the next few rooms. Look, you remember this one? Back in here. Straight through here, take a left, come in this door. So they're heading down to the safe room now, guys. Down um, the west wing safe room. Well, the medical medical storage room, isn't it? Yeah, it's called the medical storage room. So uh, you want to make a save now. So let's just um, clear out our inventory a little bit. Because it's pretty full. Pretty chocker. Um, we still need the key. So we need to keep that. Get, let's get rid of the healing item first. Magazine. Let's get rid of that shit. Plenty of handgun ammo, look at that. Um, yeah, get rid of that. We don't need a battery yet. Uh, we don't need the book yet. No, you don't need the shotgun for now, guys. So get rid of that shotgun. And what we want, we want the grenade launcher with the acid rounds. And um, there it is. Yeah, um, don't worry about, you can take the grenade ammo as well, because we are going to collect some anyway soon. Um, in fact, I don't even know if it, no. No, sorry guys. Um, put a grenade launcher in, put, sorry, put the grenade, fucking hell, I'm getting mixed up with my words here. Put the acid rounds into the grenade launcher, guys. Leave the grenade shells in the box. So make sure you just got the grenade launcher with the acid rounds inside. So that's what you want, guys. Key grenade launcher with the acid shells loaded into it. Alright, let's make a save now. Sorry guys, getting a bit minced there with my words. Um, it's an old typewriter. Yeah, let's make a save. It's because what happened guys, I have i didn't have a chance to um, record this all at once. I recorded, this is, um, I recorded the first part and I'm actually recording the second part again now. 
It's all going to be in one video, but I just mean I can actually record it all at once. I didn't have the time. Right, put the ink ribbon back. And yeah, I believe that's all we need for now. The That key, guys, and the grenade launcher. Equip. Yeah, and in between it, in between the two parts, I um, played my real survival, so I wanted to check that, and it's just got me got me a little bit mixed up. Probably shouldn't have done it, really. Real survival, there's no grenade rounds in this room. Yeah, so come in this room here. I know in EC there's grenade rounds and acid rounds, but I can't remember on normal. And um, we'll see. Alright, so, oh yeah, oh they are here. So grab the grenade shells, guys, from here. And grab the... Oh, it's no acid rounds. Oh, that's it. Yeah, grab the dagger, guys, from this wall. Grab the file from my desk in the middle. Little desk. All right, now we need to push these cabinets right to the end. Push that to the end wall. And then push it over here left. Just to the left of that moose on the wall. A uh, moose, sorry, not moose, ball. Now push this one to this... Uh, fucking camera angles. Push this one just straight to that wall ahead. Now turn off the light switch. There we go. Now you need to. Um, if the eagle is facing the um, the head on the wall, then it will it will make it so you can't grab the jewel from it. So make sure if whatever one it's facing, uh, come to this corner, the same wall which the eagle is on, and then run to the opposite corner. Climb up on the uh, drawers quickly, and then grab the diamond from the eye before the eagle turns back around. That's it. And now wait for it to come to you on this side. That's it. Now quickly run and get the red gem from the other spot, the other side before the eagle turns back around. There we go, guys. So we've got grenade shells, the file, the dagger, and both the gemstones. Yes, yeah, so everything in that room. Boss fight coming up soon, but it's very, very sort of simple one. Yeah, it's not difficult at all. So just come through here, through this door. Camera and gorge again. Get me again. Yeah, come through here. That's going to be now. We're going to have to fight the snake again, guys. But we're going to kill it for good this time. Right. Two green herbs here you can grab. If you get poisoned by the snake, I think you have to use a serum to, to um, cure it. So if you do get poisoned, just head back into that. Um, uh, safe room we were just in and get a serum all right once a snake appears quickly fire two shots run back to this corner wait for it to attack fire one more and then jump down here you do it that way fire two run around the corner go back fire one more and then come down the ladder you can get three shots in before it gets a chance to attack then run to the screen wait and one more shot and it's dead very simple guys and it goes down exactly the same way on real survival. Yeah, very easy. So you fire two shots up above, run around the corner, turn around after it's attacked, fire one more, then jump down a ladder, and then you'll be in this angle, just run down here to the angle changes, wait for the snake head to appear, and then shoot it. Bam, it's dead. Come around the back of here now and grab this uh, book that fell down and the blue book of the north. That's got a wolf medallion inside. Yeah, should have everything here now, guys. So, um, yeah, exit.
back in here. Just be quick um, before that zombie gets a chance to um, pass the door. If you're quick, you can get to the door before he gets a chance to get past it. If he is past it, just exit the room and come back in. It will set his position and it will just allow you to get in that door without having to attack him. You're not going back up there in that corridor anyway, guys, by the way. So if you do want to kill him, you can do it. Alright, so let's just head into the item room. Get rid of some of our gear that we don't need. Right, item box. Good old item box. Right, get rid of the blue book of the north. Get rid of the healing item. Yeah, we don't want that shit no more. Get rid of that. Get rid of the grenade launcher. You could probably get away with just using it now. I mean, we've got plenty of ammo, but let's just try and keep the shotgun. Um, all right, let's get rid of that ammo. And now, take the assault shotgun. Make sure it's fully loaded, guys. Keep both the gemstones and the mansion key, and we're good to go. All right, now you need to be quick here. There's going to be t um, two hunters are going to jump in through the window. But as long as you're quick, they won't be a problem. So run straight ahead to the far wall. Stick to the wall, guys, on the right. Run past it. And that's it. Just keep running to the door. And that's it. I know. <laughs> bit of pressure there. Bit scary of them hunters um, right on your tail. But as long as you're quick, it shouldn't be a problem. Quickly run up here. And then head down this um, passage. And then back into this door where the tiger head is. Um, use the yellow gemstone to get that MO disc, the MO disc. Yeah, that corridor we're just in where we saw the zombie. There is another zombie ahead of you, so you need to be quick um, so that zombie doesn't get a chance to um, block your path to the door that leads to here. So just be quick. Yeah, and we've got everything in this room now, guys. This is that room that's been, that's been red for a long time, but it's now, now green. Yeah. Alright, now this zombie block this zombie in our way can either knock him down with a shotgun or you can just run past him because he's gonna be facing the walls so he comes It's one of them where you can run past him. Look. He's facing that wall. You can just run past him like that if you want. Or you can shoot him, it's up to you, but there's another zombie on your tail, so you may just wanna run past him like I did to quickly get past. I mean, I didn't do any dodging, no crazy dodging, just went straight past, like that, um, walk, sort of walk up to him so he doesn't hear you, they don't always hear you guys, but when they do, it will just make them obviously move, so walk around the corner, so he sticks to face that wall, and then just quickly run behind him and exit, alright, so we're heading into this door over here now, last door in the mansion we ain't unlocked, there we go, discard the key afterwards, well, there's one more, but um, that leads down to the basement, so don't worry about that for now. Right, grab this file off here. You can just see it next to that um, tube with, I don't know what's inside there. Some organs, I don't know. Um, Alright, so you got that. Um, over here, grab the ink ribbon. There we go, grab the ink ribbon. Come through this door. Now, as, we, as soon as we get in here, it's going to be clo a zombie close by. So turn, get ready to fire. Use the mirror if you want to engage the distance. There we go. Right, grab a green herb. Grab a dagger. And grab a um, jewelry box. Now we'll do this now, um, just combine the red jewel with the jewelry box guys, there we go. And there's going to be a little puzzle here, this puzzle is a little bit annoying. Put a piece in and then you can move it without it, have it, without it keep popping out. Um, so once you've done that piece you want to do this piece next. Uh, that go down here, there we go, took it in there nicely. Then you want the other big piece, and um, that'll just go down here. If you want to move it less, just use the D-pad, guys. Yep, yeah. it's not gonna be. They've not got to fit snug. You just gotta get them to fit inside. 
All right, so next we are going to go with this um, sort of triangle shape shaped one. All right, one more to do, this one here. There we go. Look, it's not got to be perfect, guys. Once you've got them all in, just press X again to open it, and you'll find a little brooch inside. Examine the brooch to make it turn into a key. There we go. We've got the uh, the last key we need. Right, once done, guys, um, exit. Then we're heading back through the graveyard now and back towards that east wing st um, save room. Now, when you run down there, um, I remember a hunter used to burst through. Um, but it only it only um, jumps through under certain conditions. I can't remember what makes it burst through the wall now. But um, it won't burst through for you guys. Or maybe it's only Chris. Maybe that's what I remember. Yeah, I just remember from when I played it years ago. A hunter would burst through that wall. But maybe it's just Chris only. Alright, yeah. Yes, guys. So, um, back through the graveyard. And yeah, through here. I don't know what I'm going to play after Resident Evil. After that, once I've got all the videos done for this, I'm not sure what I'm going to play. I may go for a new game next. I don't know. We'll see. I know I still got to get Metal Gear Solid Five done. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see. All right. So um, through here, guys. After. No enemies in here now because we did kill them hunters, so um, don't need to worry about them, guys. Uh, now you oh, unlock this door and then discard it straight after. That key we got, it only unlocks one door, and that is this one here. Alright, turn the lamp on first. That's it, turn this lamp. There we go. Take the shotgun shells. Get this um, metal object from there and grab the battery pack. That's it. Make sure you got all the items, guys. Yes, we have. And I'm just going to head back to the safe room now, guys. Get rid of all this fucking junk we don't need. I think time passes on when you open opening doors as well. So, um... The time it takes to open doors, I'm sure that's probably counting towards the time. Right, item box. Um, Alright, so... We don't need the shotgun for now, guys. Get rid of that shotgun. Um, we won't save it just yet. You can save it if you want. Um, save it, there's no harm in doing so, guys. So save it if you want to. Uh, yeah, let's just... Um, let's complete a green herb. Right, let's just uh, put that away. Right, we don't need the disc either or the uh, metal object. We don't need them. Yeah, so in fact, I'm going to save the game, guys. Um, what you want now, you want the Magnum Revolver. As long as you've got five bullets, well, you need... You need four maximum, so make sure you've got that. Um, you also want, you want the crank and the battery. Battery, yep. Uh, crank, yep. Yep, that's all we need for now. So let's make a save. You can keep the ink ribbon on you for now, by the way. Just keep it on you for now. We've got plenty of inventory space for the time being. Don't need to put it back in the box. So let's keep it on you. So that's what we've got guys, the magnum, the crank and the battery. They're what you really need. So um, make sure you've got them. Right, now we're heading back into the courtyard. Yeah, Barry's fixed the doorknob now. a great guy. I love that Barry. 
I don't think there's a dog here now, so um Yeah, there's no dog, don't <laughs> need to worry about a dog pouncing on you, it's gone. And we've killed all the dogs in the courtyard, so we've got no dogs to worry about. Um but the fucking the snakes are still gonna be there. But we did kill that one snake, so hopefully it's not gonna be too much of a problem guys. But we are grabbing this blue herb here, so um, if you do get poisoned, you can heal. So grab this blue herb now. Now we're collecting it. Head outside here. Yeah, we're passing through the evil snake passage one more time. Or pathway. The evil snake pathway. We're going to pass through that one more time. So we're down this ladder. Snake alley. Just take the path, take the line I take, guys. So keep to the side here, straight across here, to this corner, straight ahead, over the bridge, straight to the lift. I see you shouldn't get poisoned. As long as you kill that one that's coiled up, you should be okay. If you didn't manage to kill him earlier, um, when you do climb the top of the ladder, you can aim, and you'll aim straight onto that snake. You'll aim straight into that snake, and you can shoot at that one with a coil. But if you didn't, um, if well, if you did get if you did get poisoned, guys, you've got that blue that blue herb, so just use it. Yeah, use that blue herb now if you were poisoned. There's only one other time when there's a chance of us getting poisoned, and it's only some little snakes again. But they they spawn behind you, so as long as you keep running, um, they won't actually be able to get you. So we've placed a battery in the um, elevator slot. So that's working now. Just need to head back to the the crank now and um, the crank slot and um, close the dam. Remove the waterfall so we can get in the cave. We're getting close to the end now guys. We're not too far away. We're doing the cave section now which isn't too long. And then after that we'll be heading straight back into the mansion and then straight down into the laboratory. So um, and the lab, lab doesn't take long. That's it, once you've raised them, um, put the water back up, there we go, close the dam. You can head back down the elevator now. Yeah, so we're um, back in the courtyard, down the elevator. You can see we come through here, we pass through this area quite a bit. That's why it's, I always find it best, just to kill them dogs first time. safer in my eyes i find that way a lot safer so yeah that waterfall's gone guys you can now come to the cave come down this ladder now um before we go into this next door you can run ahead slightly if you want and save your game in case you're a bit afraid about this next part um but come through this door so like i said guys if you run straight ahead there ignore this door go and save your game and then come back through this door because there will be a bit of two hunters soon and they can instant kill you but um, we are just going to kill them really quick so shouldn't be a problem but if you are worried guys just go and make that save now in here grab this uh, magazine here there we go that handgun mag down here around the corner to this door there's another mag flashing on the on the floor there you can just see it go that, that one's very hard to see there we go. So them two mags and then through this door. Right, this room we need to be quick, guys. Uh, grab the crank. This this crank has got a different end, so it fits different holes. I think it's hexagonal one. That other one had a square end. Yep. So grab that crank. Now be quick now, so Hunter's going to appear soon. Only one, though. Quick quick quickly exit there we go he does his little battle cry and um, gives you a small window to get past him and uh, exit without having to worry about him we're not coming back in that room so no need to um kill him or anything um but now in this next room there's going to be two hunters here and we will be coming back in here later so we've got plenty of ammo so we're just going to kill him now guys real survival we will not kill him but here we will so 
Just run to this end. Once you see them, turn. Bang. There's going to be another one. There he is. Make sure they're dead. Yeah. Like I say, they'll take one or two shots. So as long as you've got maximum four, you should be fine. That's it. Both dead. Now we'll make a save. Well, I will. So it's going to change our gear a little bit now as well. So there's the ink ribbon there, you can see it. Uh, so let's make a save first. Yeah, let's use that ink ribbon. Uh, yeah. Save number 12. Save successful. Alright, let's get rid of all this uh, stuff. Then the key item you need, guys, is that new crank. So make sure you put the right one away. You want to keep the red-handled crank. That's the hexagonal one we want to keep. You can put the magnum away now. don't need that for the time being. Get rid of them ink ribbons. Uh, there we go. Right. Oh, yeah. And the blue herb, if you still have it. Right, now we want the grenade launcher with the um, fire, the flame ammo inside, the incendiary ammo. So, um, put that, put that on the grenade launcher. Yeah, that's what we want. So, you want the grenade launcher with the fire ammo inside, there we go. And that red crank. That's it, come over to this um, slot, use the crank. There we go, the new crank. So once you've rotated that, you can run across, grab the green herb, guys. Come through here. Now, there's going to be a few traps here, so just be quick, be quick. So you're going to come up here, run to this like, big boulder. And when you see it and then change camera angle, it's going to come for you. Quickly run down, keep running down, and then back into that passage. There we go, to dodge it. That's it, it will kill you, so just make sure you're quick. Now where it came from, head up and you'll find some shotgun ammo. There it is. Yeah, grab them. Then come down this um, door now where the boulder crashed through. Now it's going to be a, a big spider boss here. But he dies in two fire rounds, guys. So as long as, long as you're quick. Right, so as soon as you gain control, um, hold right, we need to run around him, otherwise he's just going to charge at you. Just run around him, once you get behind him, turn, fire, two shots, and he's dead. That's it, once he's dead, exit the room, and come back in, and that will despawn all his little minions that he spawned. Because when you kill him, his minions will still be about, so just exit the room and come back in, and um, all the minions are gone. There we go, we're safe. Now grab this uh, knife, the survival knife from a crate, the barrels even. And now equip it and swipe the webs to cut them. You don't actually have to kill that spider, you can just try and do this and um, get through. But it's easy to kill on normal, so that's why we chose to kill him. Right, once you've done that. Grab this blue herb, uh, grab this map off the wall. There we go. Grab this other blue herb. If you got poisoned by a spider, guys, use one of these herbs, but you should be okay. Alright, so we've got two free slots. That's what you should have now. Two free inventory. There's going to be one more boulder trap, guys, in a minute. You need to use this three times. Just keep pressing X and you'll, um, you'll select it automatically. 
There we go. Uh, that's second time. Now third time, that boulder ahead that you can see now is going to come towards you. You need to sort of hold up and left. You need to run into the passage just in front of you. So just hold up and left. There we go. Up and left, guys. There we go. To run into this small passage, you'll go straight past you. Right, come up to where it was, and um, I think this is the first aid spray. Yeah, grab that green first aid box and examine it. I think it's first aid spray, yeah. Little puzzle in here. Alright, so first come over to this um statue and push it over to the end. Well not the end, um there'll be like a different coloured part of the wall. Um that there, that brown wall, you just see that brown wall there, there? Push it in front of that. Yeah, this fucking thing in the middle is annoying. Come over to the slot and use your crank handle. And that'll um force that part of the wall to come out and it'll push the statue out. So now you can uh push it from the other side now so push the statue back down slightly just so you can get around the left side of it and you want to push that onto that middle thing that middle disc that'll make it rotate you need to make it so it's facing the same direction as the other statue guys so push it on it once it will turn then take it off and then push it onto it again so it's facing the same way and now you can push it into the other slot Fuck, camera angle? No. Oh no. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Yeah, so just push it clear of the disc and then push it down into the slot. There we go. Grab the key item from the center, the uh, cylinder. That's it. We can head all the way back now, guys. To um, back to the, well, we're, we'll be heading back to where we kill them two hunters, um, so we can make a save on the way. Probably trying to make sure them room them rooms that we just passed through, make sure they're all red. That room that isn't red, that elevator room, don't worry about that, it will be red soon. It's because there's an item in there we need to progress. But I've left it there to prevent us having to carry it around. You you um you use it in the same room you find it, so there's no need to carry it around just to end up carrying it back to the same room. So you just leave it there until you need it. Right, we're done with the crank now, we can get rid of the crank, get rid of the knife. We don't need any weapon for now guys, don't need any weapons for the time being. Just get rid of everything if you want, if you want to clear, just have a little clear out of your inventory. Get rid of that knife, uh, get rid of the crank. All you need is that key item that we've got, that cylinder, that's all you need guys right now, the cylinder. can make a save if you want to I'm not going to I know exactly what I'm doing now it's not gonna be difficult um, but yeah make a save if you want to guys and um, got your ink ribbons there yeah and um, that's all we need guys this little cylinder that's all you need the cylinder we did kill them two hunters here so we don't need to worry about them anyway Yeah, interact with this and you'll take the this is where the other part was 
open the lid and you'll take it out the other half of the cylinder the shaft right now you need to combine them combine them both and then examine and then just keep rotating it until the numbers line up so keep examining it just examine it and rotate it until the numbers line up so keep pressing X to interact with it that's it once numbers lined up we're good to go so you got four two three one you can use it now put it back in the round lid the um, little slot so four three two one four no four two three one wasn't it four two three one yeah try and catch you out no I wasn't I actually I got muddled up no f so um four two three one guys that is it does say the code on the shaft so it's not exactly difficult all right then use the lift we've done that's it we found everything up here now yeah that was Barry all right straight away head to this door in front Yeah, so we've got all them rooms at the top. Now, um, when we get to this part here, now wherever, wh um, whichever way you go, left or right, um, that difficult boss will appear, and then it'll force you to run the opposite way. So we want to go right, so we're going to go left to make him appear left. There we go, and then we can go the other way. He always appears whatever side you go first, forcing you to run the other side. Now come straight to the back here. You want to grab these two healing items. Then head back slightly and uh, take this um, door here near the boxes. I'll just let you know what door that is on the map in case you get a bit um, lost in that area. So it's the eastern door in that place. Right, we're through here. I was going to combine them. Yeah, let's make red and green mix. Uh, now you want to climb onto these crates. This one's very easy to miss. These items. Look, hidden up here. Sneaky Capcom. Yeah, grab all three of these. So you've got Magnum Ammo, um, Handgun, and you've got a battery pack. That's it. That's um, everything in this room. Yeah, there you go. Now you want to uh, push this crate to the left, just so you can get it on that elevator, and then push it forward onto it. Well, not elevator. It's like a little cargo platform, isn't it? Yeah, you just want to push it onto there, onto that little then platform, and then once it's on, use the control panel to uh, send it. There we go. Send it on its merry way. Right, once you've done that, guys, exit the room. What a waste of electric. Right, so again, uh, once you reach this part, whichever path you go now, up or down, Lisa Trevor is going to go into a pier. We need to go up, so I'm just going to head down. Oh, there he is. Oh, he came a bit earlier. <laughs> yeah, and then head down here. Head back through this door here, guys. And back through the way you came back to the elevator area. Yeah, I made a bit bit of an error there. I didn't think he moved until you actually chose the direction. Obviously, he does. Barry. And Barry! Basically, you just need to go back in that um, western door so you can come back to this elevator room. There's a box there. And I come down the ladder. And you find the box that you sent across. Now if you push the box all the way to the left. And then push it under that um under that uh, machine which will squash it. 
yeah, push it down there and then interrupt this panel, the compactor, that's it. And I'll break it. Once you've done that, uh, jump down and grab a flamethrower. I don't know why that flamethrower isn't completely squashed. It's bent. It's bent somehow. Apparently it's bent. Look, it's got a little bend in it. It should be completely flattened. Uh, collect it then, Jill. Yeah, make sure you collect it. And then head back up. Well, right, we've got everything in here for now, guys. That's it. We've got everything we need. So, um... Yeah, head back up the ladder and back into that um, passage where that Lisa Trevor is wandering about. Alright, so in this passage you have to be, if you're not quick, Lisa Trevor does come to you eventually. So yeah, you seem you do need to be quick. But it will normally just appear whichever way you go first if you're quick enough. So we're going to come up here, we're going to go left first to make him appear there. Uh, there, there he is, or she, I don't know. Now, once it, they've appeared, come up to here, pull this lever on the corner of the wall here. That's it, pull that, that will make them little prongs come out. And then head down this pathway. Down here. As long as you quit, Lisa Trevor shouldn't be there. And use a broken flamethrower on this, that's it, and that will open the door. And now enter the door, there we go. Right, it's going to be some snakes here, guys, so be very quick. As soon as you get in the water, keep on running. Forward, turn, up here. Two snakes. Once you leave the water, they will not follow you. Um, and there is a healing item, so don't, uh, blue potion, so don't worry, blue herb even. Uh, once you get out of the water, grab his jewelry box. There we go. And you can examine that to get the stone ring from inside. Examine and press it. There you go, all stone ring, yep. And you'll get a note as well. You climb a ladder after. Yeah, if you need if you did get poisoned by snakes, hopefully you shouldn't have there's a blue herb over here. There it is. Blue and green mix. Well that's it, we we're not gonna need any more healing items, guys. Um no more sorry, no more poison healing. Now climb up this ladder. Yes, you will not be getting poisoned again, guys. We're not going past any poisonous enemies ever again. Not until we play through another difficulty. So, we're back in the cabin now. You remember the cabin from earlier in the game? So, come over to the item box. Um, let's get some of this junk. Put some of this junk away. Right, get rid of that. Um, rid of this. I'm just going to fill my health. Uh, refill my health here, guys, I think. I'm just going to use a little shitty healing item that I have. Let's make that. Let's complete that healing item. There we go. Let's put that there. That there. Let's use that one. I'm going to use that one, guys. Um, so you don't need any weapons for, <laughs> for now. Don't need no weapons, guys. No weapons at all. But what we do need, what we do need is, we need um, the books, both the blue and red book, and metal object, and we'll most of save a game. So we're going to tell the increments. So what you need, guys, you need a stone ring, uh, the blue book, the red book, the metal object, and that's it. I'm going to tell you the increment. We are going to pass a few enemies, but we don't need to kill them just yet. So yeah, that's it, guys. I just put, uh, healed myself. Make uh, make a safe here, guys. Just make a safe to be safe. And we're heading back to the mansion now, and then when we get to the mansion, we'll be heading straight down to the labs. Well, we'll be going to the basement, which leads to the labs anyway. Now, if you remember, there is a zombie down here. He's still here, still here. So, once you get to this screen, start walking. 
That's it. And then once you pass him, you can start running. If you're not walking, there's a chance he may become alerted to you before you reach his screen. And when the camera angle changes, you may run straight into him. You, you've got defense items, not at the end of the day. But that way, you can just avoid um, actually engaging, engaging him. Right, see a zombie in front now, just run straight past him on the right. He'll do a sort of blind lunge and completely miss you. And now we've got a home, uh, home run all the way back to the mansion. Now, when you come into here, we're going to take the um, stone and metal object from the uh, crevice in the wall. We need it now, so we're going to take this back. Yeah, take it out. We need that now. And you'll find this room is uh, green now as well. Now, all these rooms need to be green, guys, before we move on. So, let's make sure, make sure your map is exactly the same as mine. All these rooms should be green. Um... You don't need to worry about this right now, but the lock, the the room where you get the costumes, the locker, the closet, that doesn't matter. So don't worry about the closet room, guys. Um, you can't access it now yet anyway on a first playthrough. But closet, you don't need to worry about. Um, but your map should look exactly the same as mine. Um, it doesn't matter if doors are opened or not. That don't matter. You just need every room needs to be green. So um, I'm just going to go through them, guys. You can have a quick look if you want to match up your maps. Just pause, um, pause the video when I go into each map and just compare your maps. Yeah, you also look exactly the same. The elevators will be red. Do not worry about them. Um, let me just make that room in the bottom left there. That's blank. Don't worry about that. We'll be heading there soon. That room in the bottom left. Alright, residence. There we go, your map should look exactly like this. Aqua ring. Uh yeah, that's it. That's all we <laughs> that's all we've been to for now, guys. Yep, your map should look exactly the same. Alright, I said um we need to head back to the main hall now, the main hall in the mansion, and then we're heading to the door beyond the stairs, which we can now unlock. There's a little gate behind the stairs in the main hall, and we can now unlock it. Now that we've got both of the stone and metal object, yeah, we've got two now, see? You have to combine that um, stone ring with a metal object, and that completes it. Them crows, they, they come and attack you when you get that puzzle wrong, by the way. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll just stay there for the rest of the game. Yeah, back in the graveyard. Main hall. Right, you just need to head down to the ground floor, the first floor, and head around the back of the stairwell. Here we are, use both of them stone and metal objects on the door. Now you can take this back out if you want to, um, all you do, you have to interact with the door, and when you interact with the door, it will ask if you want to take them out. Look here, where it says open, if you choose no, it will let you take them out, so that you can use one of them to get back to the courtyard and that area. But we're just going to go straight through it, so open it. So yeah, you can take them out if you want to guys, if you need one to get back to the courtyard, in case you've missed anything. Um, but yeah, once you come through, save your game. We should have the ink ribbon on us still. If not, there's this, uh, there is an um, item box down the stairs from this typewriter if you need to. Uh, save 13. Going into the last area. Probably got less than 30 minutes left. Less than 30 minutes, guys, I'd say.
yeah that's the item box so all the way down like I say just make sure you've got that red and blue book on you guys you need them you can bring a healing item if you want um, if you're worried about getting uh, damaged by this um, that's going to be it's a sort of a boss I guess but you don't actually damage him it's more you can damage him uh, but you can't kill him you can damage him stun him but it's more a case of um, trying to solve a little tiny puzzle before him well yeah while while he's trying to while he's pursuing you I guess you gotta solve a little puzzle while he's trying to attack you um, right Barry's here you say yes to give a gun back to Barry very important say yes Thanks, there we go, give it back to him. Right. Now you need to always try and do an opposite one. You see Lisa Trevor wandering about. Try and always do an opposite one. There we go. Because what he does, he keeps jumping to you. Um, but if you do opposite one, he'll never get too close. You need to be quick here because he will. He can attack Barry and knock him down. Oh, bloody hell. Right, I'm going to wait for him to jump over to this side. Oh, he's going for Barry. Okay, just need to push all these four stones off, guys. And then that will end the seat, end the um, little battle. Like I say, just try and always push one that's not near him. Because if you try and push one when it's when he's too close, he'll attack you while you're pushing it. And he'll knock you out of the animation. And potentially kill you, you know. If he hits you, if you're too close to the edge... And you let him hit you, he'll knock you off. So don't make sure you're not close to the edge at any point. Now intro out of this coffin to um find something inside, a family picture. Yeah, there we go. And that's the only item in there, guys. Right, Barry uh Barry's alive should be yeah, there he is. <laughs> make sure Barry's not been killed. I think he can die there. Uh, come over to lift and uh, head up. Right, uh, come out here. We're in that other room now, which I said, there we are in the courtyard, the bottom left one, which I said earlier, do not worry about. Right, come over to this, um, the northern side, come over to this little slot. Um, you want to, the blue one, you need to examine the blue book here to get a wolf medallion. You want to put the wolf medallion into this um, slot. There we go, put the wolf medallion into this northern slot and then head around to the south side. And put the medallion from the red book into this slot. So examine the centre to open it. There we go. And then use it. There we go. And now we can head inside to the lab. So just head back a bit. Um, there'll be a pathway now. Head in the side. Head down the stairs. And uh, head into a little elevator. Use the elevator. Sorry guys for that, I just had to take my headset off and put it back on for a second. Oh, we've got a little trophy there, where the magic happens. Alright, so just head around here and down the ladder. Yeah, we're in the labs now guys, last area of the game. Right, ink ribbon there, you can see it on the floor. Grab no, don't save it yet Jill. I want to grab that ink ribbon first. Grab that little ink ribbon, there it is. Uh, there we go, now just make a save now. Let's make a save. Save, is it 16? Save 16, uh, no 14, sorry. Save 14. Right, save successful. Right guys, um, to prevent the enemies coming back as crimson heads later, we're going to use a grenade launcher with the um, flame rounds now. We're, uh, now what we need, we want the ammo disc, so make sure you've got that on you. And we want the grenade launcher. Yeah, that's all we need, the grenade launcher. We've got four uh, four rounds. Um, that's what you should have left, four. So make sure you only shoot one at each zombie. If you miss, um, if a zombie doesn't die from one, we'll kill it on the way back. Uh, so down here, shoot him. Oh,
There's one there. Uh, and there's one there. There we go, got them all. The one on the ladder, don't shoot it when it on the ladder, on the stairs. Don't shoot it when it's on the steps. Because if you do, you may not kill it. Um, you want to kill them when they're actually on the same level as you. And then shoot them. I find if I shoot it when it's on the steps, it takes two shots. And I waste a uh, waste a shell. So yeah, we should have one ammo left. That's three down. If you don't, like I say, if you don't kill him, um, just hit each one once and then move on. Come down here. Now shoot this one. That's it, guys. No more ammo left for it. But they will, they will not come back as crimson heads now. They will not come back. Right, so into this room here. Grab the magnum ammo. Just see it flashing there in the corner. Yeah, grab that. And over here, um, that's a healing item here. Uh, there it is. Quite hard to see. It's not that thing flashing. It's just here where I am as a healing item. And grab this flashing item. That's a battery pack. You can examine that um, first aid box. I think it's... Is it one green herb inside? Yeah. One green herb inside there. And come down here. No, wrong way. <laughs> but down here I meant. And now grab this file from a desk. There we are. Now interrupt the computer. And you want to type in John. John. And then enter. And then Ada. And then Ada. And then enter. So John and Ada. There we go. Very secure password. Alright. Once you've done that, so, uh, B, B2F and type in cell. That's a password to unlock him. No shit. I just type put an F there. Oh, and again. Fuck. So the password is cell. C E double L. Yep. So you've unlocked that B2F door. And make sure you unlock the other one. B3F as well. Make sure you unlock them both before you leave this area, this room. Right, they're both unlocked now, guys. Both of them doors. So go cancel afterwards, quit. That's it. We should have everything in this room now. It should be green. Yeah, it's green. Right, if you didn't kill a zombie um, because you went out of ammo, just use your defense item and get past him. This one that would be here, he's dead. But if you didn't, just use defense item, get past, and come through this door here. Grab this first aid box on the floor here. And then open it up. You'll find two green herbs inside, and you can combine that with the green herb you just got. That's it to make a, a complete one. There we go. And come to this little door on the side here. Now grab this x-ray. That's one. That's another x-ray um, there. There it is. Just lean against that whiteboard. And now come and put them. Yeah, put the x-rays on this whiteboard at the back. There's one. Put the other one on the other slot. That's it. Get rid of them. Interrupt this monitor. And you'll find a uh, you'll find a letter. There we go. Uh, yeah, that tells you password. We've already done it. So yeah, that room should be green. Once it's green, uh, exit. Now it's next room. Uh, not this one. But this next one. There's going to be a zombie in here. But it's going to be some fire rounds as well. So you need to be quick. So you, you've come through here. Straight away, grab the incendiary rounds on the in the sink. That's it. Grab them. Combine them with a grenade launcher, and then fire. Bang! Kill him. Oh, Jill. That's it. Grab this slide from the desk. There we go. Slide filter. Grab that. Use the ammo disc on this little um, disc reader here. There we are. I'll unlock one of the doors, one of the locks. We'll go be going back in that door later, right at the end, guys. You just need to unlock them all first. Grab this file. That's it, the facts. And that's it, that room should be green now. Um, so, exit the room, guys. Right, 
We're heading back up, up the top now. Back up to the top. Um, that safe we just made, guys. The last one we made. Do not overwrite that safe because we will, you may, if you have not got a trophy for burning two zombies at once, um, we will need to reload that safe to get it easier. So once done, come over here and enter this door. The double door is here. Now uh, grab the ammo disc. Grab the first aid spray. Come around here. Use the slide filter on this projector in front of the uh, whiteboard. Um, that's it. There'll be a password on this right at the end. And there we are, 8462. You'll need to input that in a second on this little um, panel here. Interrupt this panel, a passcode entry terminal. So 8462. There we go. Put that in. And grab the map from this cabinet on the side here. Yep, there's the map. That's it. Grab the file from inside this cabinet. This file inside. There we go. Grab the shotgun shells from the top here. And grab this control room key or laboratory key there. And that's it. That's everything in there, guys. Right, she's got one slot left. Um, grab this mode MO disc as well. Leave the herbs there for now, guys. We'll grab them on the way. We'll be coming back through here later and we'll grab the herbs then. Right, so just going to drop off some gear, guys, and uh, make another save. So, let's get rid of all this crap that we don't need. Um, get rid of this herb. Get rid of the shotgun shells. We do not need them. Get rid of the magnum magnum ammo. We don't need them. Uh, we want the grenade launch. We want the normal grenade ammo. Grenade shells. Yeah, we want them. Don't need the first aid spray. Damn, look at all them first aid sprays. Right, so what you want, guys, you want both the MO discs, both of them. Um, keep the napalm rounds and the grenade launcher. You want the laboratory key and you want the grenade shells. Alright, let's make a safe. Where's the increments? There they are. Yep. So, um. No. <laughs> yeah, so save 15. Alright, guys. So, um, if you want to, um, you could reload that save number. That save, not a save we just done, but the one before that. And you can try and burn two zombies at once if you want. Or you can just try and get it later on. So we've still got a few playthroughs left. Um, we will be doing one with Chris later where we will be saving. And that will be on um, very easy. So you may just want to do it with him. Um, Alright, so this is what we've got guys. Grenade launcher, fire ammo. We need the normal ones as well. Normal ammo, laboratory key and both the MO discs. That's what we need and we're good to go. So, let's go. Let's go, Jill. You got this. Yeah, leave the green herbs there for now. I think we're over three hours now, aren't we? <laughs> Way over. Alright, so um, kill this zombie. The napalm rounds. Make sure it's a napalm. Come around here and there's a defense item on this shelf. There we are. That's the only item here, guys. The only item. Should be green. Now, unlock both of these doors. Unlock and unlock to free up your inventory space. Discard the key afterwards and then enter the double door here. 
Now it's going to be a new type of enemy here, guys. Um, but they die. They die from one normal grenade shell. So now combine them for grenade launchers. So you got the grenade shells. Now push this all the way across, so you can grab the shotgun ammo. Yeah, grab that. There we go. And then jump up onto this ledge, and then go through this little hole here. Let's now, um, we've actually crawled across another room, but there's nothing in this room. So you want to head into this one now on the north side. Then jump down. Now some of them are going to appear here, so let's get ready to shoot. Uh, you want to use the ammo disc on this disc reader here in the corner. It's the ammo disc here. Uh, there we go. Right, once you've done that, grab a battery pack. That's it. And this room should be green now. Yeah, there it is. Right, here it comes. Yeah, here it comes. So one grenade shell, guys, will kill it. Then just push the shelving unit across so you can get out. There we go. So the, these two rooms need to be green, guys. And then just come back to the corridor now. And then come through here. Um, now, two more zombies you need to kill, and then no more zombies in the game. As long as you didn't make any crimson heads um, in the laboratory earlier. So now we'll combine the uh, napalm rounds with these, just to get them used up. These two zombies don't matter. When you've knocked them down, they'll disappear. They don't come back as crimson heads. But um, it's going to use. We want to. I want to use that ammo up. So um, yeah, they're naked, naked zombies. That's it. Uh, make sure they're both dead, and then come in here, and there's going to be a safe room. This is the final safe room. You. Um, the, the final one you'll find. Um, so combine the grenade rounds with that. Grab the first aid spray. Grab the grenade launcher ammo. Ink ribbon. That's it. I'm going to make a save now, guys. Uh, let's make yet another save while, while we are here. Um, save 16, damn. Right, we should have everything in this room as well now. Yep, yeah, it's green. Uh, so let's go to item box, get rid of some of this junk. Let's just put grenade rounds away. Yeah, let's put them away. Let's get rid of the shotgun shells. Look at all the shotgun ammo I've got left. Uh, put the first aid spray it away. And the increments. Uh, now you can keep them. You want to keep the mo disc on you, and the grenades, uh, grenade launcher, and the ammo for it. There we are. Got plenty of grenade launcher ammo. So you want a grenade launcher ammo and the mo disc, guys. Once you're ready, come back out. Come down here and into these double doors. Now it's going to be one of them enemies around the corner here. And sometimes it will be uh, sort of lying on the floor. And you'll, you'll need to run up to it and aim down to hit it. If they jump up to the ceiling like that, when you run underneath them they will grab you. And you have to, you, if you don't have defense item it will be an instant kill. Um, but if you, if you see him doing it, you can just move away, wait for him to jump back down like I did, and shoot him. Um, like I say, if they're crouched on the floor, you'll have to get close and aim down to hit them. All right, but you definitely want to kill that one that we just passed. You definitely want to kill that one because we'll be coming back through here soon, carrying some very, very fragile. So come over to here, interact with this to get the empty capsule. Yeah, make sure that one here. You make sure you definitely killed it. And then head straight through this door. Don't run past the door. Because it will make more of them enemies appear. You can you can actually hear them, can't you? Um, well, you, none of the others should bother you unless you pass that door. So, um, yeah, coming straight back through here.
and through here. Um, now, when we come back through there, make sure you go. There's two ways you can go through that corridor. If you did make, if you did leave any zombies um, alive, well, not alive, but you didn't decapitate them or burn them, um, make make sure you don't run past that zombie. I'm sure you would have killed one of them zombies there. So just walk the side where there's no zombie left. Um, but hopefully you, you killed them both anyway, like I did, burned them both. Now interact with this. Um, you'll put a capsule inside and you'll fill it with a deadly substance. Now you can't run now, guys. And you can't fire your weapon because you're carrying a nitro compound. So now you have to walk. Yeah, if you want to find out what happens if you run, you can run. But trust me, it'll be an instant death. That capsule you can, it's now got a nitro compound inside. And if you run or shoot your gun, it'll blow up. Uh, Alright. Or if you get grabbed, it'll blow up as well, I think. I think if you get grabbed by a zombie. That's why you need to make sure you don't pass any zombies that you may not have decapitated or burned in this corridor. Because if they come back as a crimson head when you're walking past them and grab you or something, you'll be dead. Yeah, so just walk in, go for the long walk. Very slow walk. And through this door, guys. We're basically just heading back to the place where we first... Um, that machine where we first took the capsule from, we're just heading back to that and we're going to place the capsule back inside. Now it's got the nitro compound inside it. Let's keep walking. I think when I've done this in the past, I've sometimes... Sometimes you can accidentally run just by accident if you just... You may just not notice that you're <laughs> slowly tilting the analog stick more and you'll start running. If you're worried about tilting, tilting the analog stick too much and running, you can always use the D-pad, the tank controls, because with them you don't run unless you're holding another button. So if you're worried, just use the D-pad instead. Alright, come over to, to this, interact with it to put the capsule inside of the nitro compound. And there we go. And the power room is now running. Right, now it's going to be a lot of them enemies now guys, we're just going to kill each one as we pass it. There we are, bang. Another one's about to jump down. On real survival, we'll just run past all of them, apart from that first one. But um, there's a few items we need to collect here, so we're just going to kill them. It's easier. Because if you're not running straight, uh, straight to the end, they can normally manage to catch you. Um, so we're just going to kill them all. They die in one hit, they're not difficult. Alright, that's all the security locks engaged, um, disengaged for reaching our partner later. Alright, grab this battery pack in the corner here. There we go, and that should be all items in this room. The, yep, it's green now. Yep, kill him. There we go, goodbye. I think another one's about to jump through, wasn't there? Alright, uh, run this side. Bang, kill that one as soon as it appears. And then come to this uh, light sort of blue monitor and interact with it to turn the elevator on. There we are, now head back the way, don't go the other path. If you head back this way, um, there we go. If you go back that way, um, you only have to face that one. If you go the other way round, just keep going the same way you were. Uh, two more of them uh, enemies will appear. There wasn't any need to kill him really. I was right next to the door, but why not? It feels good, doesn't it, killing enemies? Alright, let's kill him as well. Yeah, so easy. One shot. Alright guys, um, we just need to, we're going back into the item room one more time and then we will be heading to the boss and then to the end of the, end of the game. So it's back in this item room guys, um, let's just put this grenade, don't need a grenade launcher anymore.
Look, still got 11 rounds left for it. You get plenty of ammo on normal. Plenty. White Magnum. Yeah, we want that. And you want the Ink Ribbon, guys. Just keep keep the Ink Ribbons on you now. Um, so, yeah. That's all we need. Magnum. The ammo for it. And the Ink Ribbon, guys. Equip the Magnum. There we are. Let's just make a safe. All the next runs will be a lot quicker, guys. It's just... It's just this one where you have to find everything. It just wastes a lot of time. Um, but it's no way around it. You have to do this. Alright, so first door. I didn't want to... Um, I could have got you to speed run the first playthrough. But I just thought doing doing this, it just... It, it would just be a lot better for you guys. It gives you breathing room. Um, right, I'll press a switch on the side of the elevator. And um, then head inside. Yeah, getting you to speed one, guys, on your first playthrough. I didn't think it's a very good idea. I thought if you ju we'll just do that one where you find every item. You haven't got to worry about time. It gives you time to learn the game, and uh, it allow you to find out, you know, how to use most of weapons as well. The thing is, you can't push a timer anyway. So, if you're doing speed one on your first playthrough, I think you may get in a bit of trouble. Um, so shotgun shells we've just took from there, guys. Shotgun ammo, make sure you take them. And they come through this door to find the big bad baddie. The bad bad, uh, big bad baddie. Yeah, Wesker. Tyrant. Right, straight away, um, just run away slightly. Shoot once. Run away again, shoot twice. Or three times, and then shoot one more. There we are. He only takes five bullets, guys. Very easy. Five magnum bullets to kill him. Right, once you've done that. Now, it's red at the moment. And Wesker's actually got a file. Um, well, first, just come to this panel at the back here, guys. And activate this panel to release the lock. There we are. Now, if you don't get this file from Wesker, it doesn't matter. I'm going to leave it anyway just to show you that it doesn't matter. He's got a file. If I examine him now, I'm going to get a file. And this room will turn, this room will turn green. But if you talk to Barry first, he disappears. Barry. Yeah, Wesker disappears. There you, go. Um, there you go. And the room will still turn green. And the, But the file has gone. The file will be gone. So either way, the room will be green. So you can either take, take the file... Um, from Wesker, the room will turn green, then talk to Barry, or just talk to Barry, Wesker will disappear, the file will go with him, and the room will still be green. The room just needs to be green, you don't need to take every file, guys. You just need each room green. So yeah, with that room green, you've uh, come through here. Yeah, you, you head straight to the elevator automatically, that's why it's important we got him shotgun shells before the tyrant fights. Alright, so we've, we're about done here guys, so just make sure every room is green. I know that room mate, there's two green herbs in that red corridor, and um, we're going to get on the way. But yeah, the, there we are. Apart from that, we're good. So, uh, let's go. We're just getting, um, we're going to rescue somebody else right now guys. So we're just going to take a little detour before we head to the end, but it's not a long one. So take this passage, if you take the other passage, um, some of them enemies are going to appear. Best to take this passage here, that's it, come through this door. Now, now all locks, we've released every lock, so let's pull each one to open the door. That's it, now the uh, lock is released. <laughs> Let's head through it. Yeah, 
You haven't head into here to um, find your buddy. Oh, Leon. Fran Leon. Right, now you've got Leon. I oh, know it's Chris. <laughs> I know it's Chris. Right, you need to come back into the cell straight after and grab a shotgun ammo. There it is. So straight after come back into the cell, uh, cell, the cell and grab that shotgun ammo. And then exit. No privacy when he's going for a toilet. Alright, so make sure they're green. That's it, they're green. And then now we're heading back up to them. Um, back to our own green herbs now. We'll go and grab them two green herbs. And uh, through that save room. Save the game one more time. And then we're going to head up to the helipad and escape. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, make sure you grab the two green herbs now, guys, that we didn't collect before. Yeah, make sure we grab them. Right, I'm just going to take a minute in the safe room, guys, and show you everything that I've got. So you're going to see everything that I've got left at the end of the game. Yeah, I'll just take a moment before I save the game. Um, okay, let's get rid of these. Yep, get rid of them. Uh, let's just use some healing items. Um, Alright, we've got a red herb there. Alright, let's just mix these. Alright guys, let me just show you what I've got left then. Alright, so obviously got a few key items left. So look, we've got about 150 handgun, 11 normal grenade launcher, 2 fire rounds, 8 acid. Shotgun, we've got what about 60 bullets, 60 bullets for shotgun. And we've got what, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 first aid sprays. We've got 4 full red and uh, red and green herbs we've got about it's about bloody hell it's about eight uh, full green mixes we've got two uh, green red and blue and we've got a few um green and blue and then some blues bloody loads see all them healing items guys you've got plenty to use if you need to and obviously magnum ammo we've got what 10 bullets left all right save the game now guys Right, now, um, you need to make sure you've got some good ammo just for this battle. You don't need much. Um, it does speed it up if you've got more, um, but it's entirely up to you. Um, so if you want, if you've not got much uh, magnum ammo, you may just want to take the grenade launcher. Um, grenade launcher and some of the grenade ammo if you want. I'm just going to take that. I'm only going to use some magnum, but I've got a grenade launcher with me just in case. Um, so you can actually speed this. You can actually wait this battle out for a little bit. I'll, I'll explain on, it to you soon. Um, yeah, come through this door. Now every nook and cranny that will pop for you once you reach your helipad. You don't have to collect the item up there because it doesn't actually count. Um, but yeah, grab these two items here. You got a shotgun ammo, and you got a healing item here. Just um, examine that box to find out what's inside. I can't remember what's inside this one. Oh, it's uh, a single green herb. Yep, 
yeah, come through here. Now grab this item here. It's flashing. That's a fuse unit. All right, now, now guys, every room should be green. Every single room should be green now that you can actually enter. So every room should be green. There we go. If it's not, you're going to have to reload a save to um You will have to reload a save before a uh, time about we just done, so you can actually progress back through the game. But every room should be green if you're following the guide. If you've been following, the, if you've been following the guide well, you shouldn't have any problems, guys. And there we go. The trophy will pop once we get up this elevator, every nook and cranny. And uh, come over to this use the fuse unit that you found. There we go, and then that's going to send you up the elevator automatically. Three minutes to detonation. Yeah, timer. Always a timer at the end of these games. Should never twirl. There we go, three minutes, guys. Now, if you wait till you're on about 40 seconds and then fire the signal rockets, um, the tyrant will, well, the rocket launcher will fall down when it's about 30 seconds left. So that's a way to um yeah trophy should pop now come on there we go every nook and cranny guys exactly like i predicted so as i said you don't need to open every door let me just confirm that to you a lot of guys think you do uh, but you don't um where is it? it should be a red door where's it gone oh there it is um it's that red door on the top left that top left red door just on the bottom left side there um, that door you can unlock it and you can make that door blue you can unlock that door but I haven't as you can see it's still red and you just saw that the trophy just popped you do not have to unlock every door guys you just have to go in every room and make sure each room is green you don't even even have to collect every file as you just saw um, earlier as long as every room is green that's what you want yeah so that's it guys every nook and cranny um, now you need to pick up this item now once you use this the tyrant will appear there'll be a little battle and basically you have to wait until the rocket launcher gets thrown down because that's the only way you can kill a tyrant of course um, but to speed it up you can damage the tyrant to speed it up if the tyrant grabs one of your friends and holds him in the air you're going to have to um, shoot the tyrant to make him drop your friend because otherwise he will instant kill him so just make sure you keep an eye that he doesn't grab your friends and if he does you're going to have to shoot him um, so you can either make the rocket launcher drop by damaging the tyrant or you can wait to the timer which is now on 2 minutes 7 you can wait until it's on about 40 seconds and then fire the signal rockets and then when it and then after a few seconds the rocket launcher will drop in. So it always it always drops when you're, on, when you're on 30 seconds or less. It will always drop in anyway, and that'll just save you wasting ammo. So like I say, you can wait till it's on about 40 seconds, then fire the fire the signal flare, and the rocket launcher will drop down shortly after. So you can grab it straight away and shoot the tyrant, save you wasting ammo. Um, or you can just fire it now and um, damage the tyrant yourself to get the rocket launcher to drop. It's up to you. But just make sure if he grabs any of your friends, you do shoot him so he just drop them. Alright, but we've got plenty of ammo left, so I'm just going to start a battle. There we go. Look, he's going for Barry. I'll show you here. Oh, he's not grabbed him. He just attacked him. Sometimes you'll grab them. Just be ready because the tyrant will. If a tyrant tries to charge at you, you do need to get out of the way because he will damage you. Um, I just want to combine them. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so out of ammo there. Oh, he's doing that. Yeah, if he runs at you, just move out of the way. There we go. If you do so much damage, the rocket launcher will drop like that. Or it will drop in 30 seconds, whichever comes first. Grab the rocket launcher after. Oh, he's going to catch me there, I think. Never mind. Oh, no. <laughs> I stuck in to grab the rocket launcher. Right, he's got a rocket launcher. Equip and kill him. There we go. He's dead. Sometimes he may block the rocket if he does just fire another one, guys. That's it, guys. We've done normal um, and every nook and cranny. We've unlocked real survival, which will be the next playthrough. Now, I wonder how long that's taken me. I think it's taken me about 3 hours 30. 
it, like I said, it's normally about 3 hours 20 I can do it in. I wouldn't be able to save much time unless I change to dodging enemies, which I don't really want to do. Just because it's not it's not that easy. Some beginners don't find it easy to do, that's all. So we rescued uh, Chris and we rescued Barry. And you'll get the, that, that would have gave us a trophy for him saving everyone using Jill. Good job, we're all aboard. Brad Vickers. I see you, Brad, in Resident Evil 3, I guess, in April. Alright, so what have we got, guys? Jill, you did a Jill. fine job. Oh, three hours, damn. A lot longer than I thought. That's because I've been explaining a few things to you guys. But I can, if I rush that, I can normally get it in about three hours 20. Um, so you, you're going to struggle to do that three hours um, on your first playthrough, every nook and cranny. So yeah, uh, that's it, guys. We've done it in under five hours anyway, so we've actually unlocked the Samurai Edge Infinite weapon, but you, can only, you can't use it in real survival, only in once again mode, guys. You can only use them in once again mode. So, uh, that's it, guys. That's the first playthrough. And normal, if you're looking cranny. So, maybe um, maybe you've watched that because you just want to choose a guy by itself. Um, but if you check a lot of my other videos, I'm going to be combining this with a lot of other ones for a full platinum guide if you want it, guys. So, yeah, th that's it, guys. Um, oh, yeah, I should just uh, say Axie. Um, so, yeah. That's what we've unlocked. Real survival. We've unlocked that mode. Um, we've got a closet key. Now, like I said, that closet key doesn't count for every nook and cranny. So, don't worry about it. That just lets you change your costumes when you're playing the game. Uh, rather than when you start a game. That just lets you change a costume at any point in the game if you want to. We've got unlock that. It's not that powerful, this weapon, but it fires three normal bullets at once. That's what's good about it. And it's infinite, there's no need to reload it. Um it's really <laughs> powerful. So safe game. Um so you're gonna have clear data here. Make sure you never overwrite this. Um leave it at the bottom guys if you want, leave it at the bottom or at the top. Just somewhere where you're not going to overwrite it by accident, but never overwrite that safe. Yeah, that's it, guys. And um, that's every nook and cranny, normal playthrough dumb uh, with Jill rescuing everybody. Um, so yeah, I hope that helped, guys. Um, stay tuned, and I will see you on the next one.